What's happening, everybody? And welcome to the Pops and Wiz Sportscast. Coming to you live from the Mr. Winston Studio in upstate New York. I'm your co-host, Papa K. To my left, the one and only. The coolest cat with whom you want to chat. And by the way, neither one of us can pick our nose when it comes to these past weekend's playoff games. <laughs> Yours truly, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> oh, my God! Is that the truth, though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the truth, Bob. I mean, it's just, uh, this weekend was pretty wild, i got to say. Uh, you know, what is it? we had Saturday games and then Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Four games. Four games. You went one and five. Yeah, no, that did I, terrible this I week. I went two and four. The best was green. Five and one. Five and one. Wow. There you go. Congratulations, yeah. green. Yeah, yeah. Me. I might have been picking with my heart instead of my head because I picked the Bills. I picked Green Bay because I wanted to see the young quarterback. I want. I thought C.J. Stroud, who showed, you could see he's a rookie. He got. They got blown out by the Ravens. They got blown out. It was yeah. like, I mean, that was going to be a very difficult matchup right there. You know, I mean, Baltimore is just, they, they, they're no joke. This is a powerhouse team. They're very, offensively a very hard team to figure out when you're on the other end of the ball. Uh, other end of the ball. Yeah, that's why this week's going to be interesting. And uh, I, I, I'm excited for that game. I, I really hope that, uh, you know, the Ravens beat the hell out of the Chiefs, you know. I don't know. It's, it's that's they, what yeah yeah they're on, they're, they're on the they look like the Chiefs again in the last three weeks. This is true. You can't argue with that logic right there. They do look uh, that you know they're making some great throw. Like Patrick Mahomes has been making some great throws, yeah. you know, and and showing against the Bills. Uh, which just to get into that game for a second, like what a what a heartbreaker for the Bills right there. But they you got know, a break. Because if Halea doesn't fumble out of the end zone at the time he did, that game is 34. Uh, 24. 34. Yeah, no. I mean, without a doubt, he, a they, there, there was a break there. You know, if, if uh, what's his name doesn't get greedy, though, you saw him stretching for it. He stretched for the end zone to try to get that touchdown, and it cost. It cost. Uh, you know, it cost him that Humble. that touchback. Um, and again, Kansas City got a break. You told me. Diggs missing a couple of passes that yeah. looked like the first one you told me could have been a walk-in. Crucial, crucial drops by Diggs that uh, could have changed the outcome of this game, the momentum of this game, uh, but it was pretty wild. We got Luddy in the chat saying, hey, oh, how was your day going? Luddy, it's going good, man. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Luddy, I like that name. Luddy Leaf in the chat. You know, I give credit just to switch games real fast. We'll go back back to the Bills. Is Jordan Love showed me something. They had the lead till one minute and seven seconds left in the game, but McCaffrey was too much. You know. Well, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if the 49ers can do it again. Because, like you said, Debo Samuel's he could be out. They said today it's touch and go right now. He didn't break his ankle or nothing like that. <coughs> but he's not practicing. Yeah. Now, if he's out, that's major. Because Detroit, I don't know. The weather's going to be 79 degrees, by the way. I'm Frisco. I mean, that's, 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 that's some great weather. Luddy, how you doing? How's the family? How's everybody going? Doing. Hopefully you guys are doing great. That's good to see you, bro. How, how's the weather over there? We'll see. We'll be right the. Uh, I want to say Norway, right? Oh my God! Oh, that's a big Norway, time. UK. Norway or UK? Big time difference. Oh yeah, it's definitely a big time difference. Yeah. What? What are we at? Seven? Is it? I think it was what six hours. Norway, yeah. So it's probably like two o'clock in the morning, man. Uh, two or three. Is it six hours, Luddy? Could be five with the clock that change. Doing good. It's starting to get less cold here. Well, tell it, Luddy, it's been freezing here. Woo! I mean, we've had single digits here, snow, ice. I start my car 10 minutes early in the morning. Yeah, this week it's been a little bit better. It's supposed to get better. A lot of rain, 50s. But the last week and a half, I mean, I couldn't even walk the damn dogs more than twice. It was so cold. 
Luddy says it's uh, 12.49 a.m. over there right now. So it's like five hours. Five hours. So I, I, I was close. I said six. Mm-hmm. Wow. The hell are you doing up? <laughs> L- L- Luddy, uh, Luddy's a night creature. Night owl? Yeah. He's a night owl. Okay. <laughs> Norway. Wow. I just watched a great Christmas movie from Norway. It was called My Norwegian Christmas. Great, great movie. Still watching Christmas movies in January? No, it's over now. But oh. I, I watched it like three times. It was so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's been 32 degrees here. That's yeah, not bad. It's at zero now. Zero degrees right now. That's cold. I, I'm sorry. I, oh, I, it's at minus 32 degrees Celsius. It's at zero now. So it went up 32 degrees. So this way you could hit no number. Just oh my God. the number zero. Oh, they go by Celsius. We go by Fahrenheit. Yeah. Oh, my. That's cold. Yeah. God, I thought it was cold here. Zero. He says it's warming up. <laughs> yeah. Well, last week or two, it was like six degrees here. You know, 17 wind chill factor was six. That's oh, yeah, no, it's been... And the wind does make a difference, by the way. It's messed with me so much lately where there have been days that I've woken up for work. Mm. And just I, you know, I feel the cold right through my bones. I know. And then I'm like, man, and I haven't even gone outside yet. It's just getting out from under the covers. Turns oh, into sucks. like this, like, oh, that. this is brutal. I remember those days. I even keep the heat on, like at 66 at night now, because it's so cold. Yeah. Because if I turn it off and I wake up, I'm freezing. He says, uh, he goes, all right, uh, minus 22 Fahrenheit over there. Yeah. <laughs> And we're over here complaining about single digit. God. Jesus Christ. How the hell do you survive? Well, don't forget, in certain states here, same thing. No, no, no. Without a doubt. Know, yeah. Near the Canadian border. You know, if you're like in Wisconsin or. It's it gets cold. cold. It gets cold. That's, that's why they're lucky. Like in, this week they're playing in Frisco, 79 degrees. In Baltimore? I don't know. Doesn't seem to matter with those two teams. Does Kansas City. Beat Miami at home. It was minus twenty one two. That that Saturday game, Sunday was like six degrees there in Buffalo, and they still won. So who knows? Yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I have trouble walking around. You know, my my, my my biggest problem, like going back to the Kansas City Bills game, is I I, I want to bring this up for a second. Uh, like I had problems with my car. Oh, I boy. Only, I can only imagine. 32 Fahrenheit now, starting to get warmer. Yeah. Can you imagine trying to start your car in that temperature? God almighty. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> mm. But, yeah. Excuse me. The uh, the, the Chiefs-Bills game? Mm. So, it frustrated me at the end. You know, just even... Here's the thing. Let me start off by saying this: what a what a hell of a what a hell of a game till that point, till the end of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and not just because the Bills lost, not just because of the missed field goal Mm -hmm. by Bass, but just to see, like in my opinion. Uh, what kind of classlessness between, uh, you know, with, with, with the Kansas City Chiefs as they waving goodbye to the Bills. Bye-bye, Bills fans. Yeah, we, we, yeah, hey, we. I w- didn't watch that because no, I, see that. Let me, I, I watched that. I watched that. I want to talk about it for a second if that's okay. Um, it's one of the things that upset me because when you look at the Buffalo Bills, especially, uh, you know, a guy like Josh Allen. Quarterback for the Buffalo Bills has been nothing but a class act. Yeah. And now, this is the second time they've faced each other in the playoffs, as far as I know. This is the second time they faced each other this season. And when they were facing each other in the regular season, and the Bills won, and Mahomes lost because of the, you know Mahomes freaking out over that call. Of the offsides was legit. Was was a legit call, and the, the way he he approached Josh Allen, it was a fucking bullshit call. Blah, blah, blah. 
And Josh Allen's like, I'm... No class. Good game. Zero class. And then to see him come in, and now they get a win. And, uh, you know, they eliminate the Bills. At Bill, you know, on the Bills' home turf. Hmm. And just show even less class by, you know... Being completely childish, uh, waving to the fans. I, I, I think I saw the tight end spit on a uh, on a field uh, on, on on the Bills logo in the middle or whatnot. You just made me pick my team right now. <laughs> like I, I was so aggravated by what I saw there. It was, you know, and again, not just because the game ended the way it ended. You know, when you're watching the playoffs, like you know. You know, to see a game end with three knees, you know, three Sorry. kneel downs. Kill the whole game. It killed, yeah, you want to see that epic drive. Can they pull Either it way. off? Yeah, Can yeah, they yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. And just to see, you know, again, the Bills have to, uh, you know, produce defensively on the field. But from what I have seen from the Buffalo Bills have been nothing but a class act, especially whether they're hosting the Kansas City Chiefs, whether they beat the Kansas City Chiefs, and it just shows me now that the Chiefs and their their um their record and their 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 ability and their talent and their skills and what they've done over the last six years has really gotten to their head. Whether it's all these like, you know, commercials that Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are doing now. It's it's what 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 I what I saw Patrick Mahomes act the way he did after that win. I was disgusted. I thought they didn't show that. And they did. You, you just at that point you had to watch past the the, the you know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like you know post game, even the day after, I never saw it once. Because you know what the thing all is, the NFL and then. Network. I know, but you watched the game. You shut it off when you knew it was over. Yeah, when I sort of kneeled down, I said it took away all the juice. This is yeah, but that, that, that's why I, I kept watching the game because I knew we're you know, and this is not this isn't a shot at you, Pops. Don't no, take it no, that no, way. No. But that's why I tell you, don't just shut it off. Hmm. See what happens next because you know we we do a sports cast over here. This this is this is something to discuss. That's disgusting. This is something to talk about. Here is how you could sit there. And in the regular season, you lose to the Bills and act as childish as you did. When what what, what happened to you know uh, good sportsmanship? Hmm. You know. It's all about winning. And, and and to see Patrick Mahomes freak out the way he did over an offsides that was legit, and then after that, games that this wide receiver Kadarius Tony had cost him issues as well. Caused him. Should be yelling at him. And I'm sure. I'm sure there was discussions there. I, that's why how I feel. Do you ever see his name over the weekend? No. So, so but to see to see it go even further with, then the Chiefs beat the Bills in the playoffs, and act the way that they acted. It, it, it to me is just like when I had originally stated. And this was, what, over the course of like the last two seasons, since we've been doing the sports cast, since the Kansas City Chiefs have gone on the runs that they've gone on, which, again, you know, to some extent, congratulations, even though, you know, Nothing the Bengals right. got screwed out of a Super Bowl because of some questionable refereeing. Yeah, it's um, it's terrible. And I had stated that I, I, I don't want to see the Chiefs in every single Super Bowl. And as of right now, it's six seasons in a row. They've made it to this point where... AFC champs. AFC champs. Well, not yet, but... Not going. yet, but they're going to the to, to this the AFC championship. Game, yeah, yeah. And this is six seasons in a row, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. that... Right? Am I right in saying that? Yeah. To see... To see... I don't want to see the Chiefs in every single Super Bowl. And I'm not trying to take anything away from them. Not too much away. No. Again, certain certain seasons, eh. The people are tired of it. I'm tired of it. But then to, then to go in like this, it's like, you know what? I hope Baltimore kicks the shit out of the Chiefs. As bad, as good as this game was, and it wasn't about officiating. In my no, opinion, they let about, them play. You know, it was about players... Not making plays, making plays, not getting a big field goal. It wasn't about that. But like you just mentioned, after the game, to act the way you did, and I heard, I don't know if it was Kelsey or his brother, had his shirt pulled off. So That's that, disgraceful. That I heard about 
Jason Kelsey was celebrating. Well, he was in from in the, the stands right away. He was with no shirt. You know, he but they he, said Jason pulled his shirt off when the game was over. Did you see that? No, I saw him in the stands, like when uh, Travis Kelsey caught the touchdown pass. Right, right. He was in the stands with a beer in his hands, no shirt on, ah, supporting his brother. I get it. Peyton that's Manning what was there when. Eli was in yeah, the that's one the thing is like I have nothing against Jason Kelsey here because he you know he was supporting his brother. I get it. And and he's he was partying with Bills fans, Chiefs I don't know fans. Without a shirt. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. Man. But like I have nothing against that and, and you know what? It was, no, that no. that was something that yeah, you know, again, it was, it was pretty I'd wild. See to him see him. And see Ch- Taylor Swift. Yeah. Believe me. And like you know, I feel like they've lightened up with how often they cut to the booth with four Taylor times Swift. Just up. I only saw it twice. Well, so I heard, I heard it was four times. Heard it was four, but like I mean, I I, I remember they were showing her before the kickoff even happened. She didn't have her own booth either because she's in Buffalo. Yeah, she was like literally in the stands. So in yeah. Buffalo, she has her own suite, so they got the camera on her constantly, especially when Kelsey scored the first touchdown. But um, yeah. But like I, I like you know those were the things that I I didn't it didn't it didn't bother me too much like when Kelsey scored it they showed Jason Kelsey celebrating in the stands and then they showed next up they showed Taylor Swift I didn't see it too often and it's not like they just kept talking about Taylor Swift the whole time thank God I was okay with that because again I have nothing against Taylor Swift I have a problem with the way the NFL and how um how how they're airing it out there and, and what they're doing. That's where I have the problem is I want to know about the game. Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. I've talked about this. I'm not going to hash over it again. But, um, you know, what, 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 what are the, what, what the big, again, the biggest thing is just the attitude on the field and the lack of sportsmanship. That was weak. Uh, you know. Not the guy spit on the Buffalo Emblem? I, I think that's what I saw. Now, granted, don't quote me on this. As I saw he spit. He was about center field. I don't know if he just had to spit. It didn't look too much, like at that time. It didn't look like he was doing, but it, it, it was. It was like in that. No, it was at the end of the game. Yeah. It was kind of like where I looked at it and I went, "Wait, did you do that just to be disrespectful?" Like nothing much was said about that. Then again, nothing much was said about them waving goodbye to the Buffalo fans. And like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we beat you at your home. You know, you say we couldn't do it as an away game, like. Just how the story has led up to this point. Yeah. I can credit for winning, but not doing that. Not doing that. I, again, so, Patrick so, Mahomes' so, attitude. So, hug, shake, nice game, good luck next week. You know, like, that's now, what, now I'm rooting for the Ravens. I go, yeah, shame. And I go right back to at the end of the game. Bass misses the, the, the tying field goal. Mm-hmm. Right? It's 27-24. Shanks it to the right. He's on the sidelines. He, I don't even think he was breathing at that point. I think he was having a moment. I'm sure he was having a moment. But like even afterwards, I saw a clip. Josh Allen finds Bass as they're leaving the field, going down the tunnel, gives him a quick hug. Yeah. That's class. Yeah. That's class. You know, Patrick Mahomes, why don't you take a page out of the book? Yeah. Uh, some uh, very classy quarterbacks, you know, because to me it just reminds me of, you know, Tom Brady used to freak out. Yeah. You know, and I, I you know, Tom Brady, again, <laughs> one of the greatest yeah. to play the game. Sure. But I, with that greatness comes also a level of responsibility, a level of showmanship that... It gets worse. You get, get a fat what, head. You, yeah, you think you're going to win. That's why when the Giants beat him twice, obviously a Giant fan, I was the happiest camper in the world, especially 2007 mm-hmm. when they were 18-0. That, oh, and we didn't know rub it in their face. No, I get another not very classy quarterback, yeah, Eli Manning. Won the MVP. Got carried off the field and by his teammates, you know, and class act. No, this I, this is disgraceful what you're telling me. I wish they could show that again. No, I can tell you like there's there's some quarterbacks. Uh, Peyton Manning, another one, uh, very classy guy. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, even going back to uh, Baker Mayfield, 
Class act. Yeah. You know? I was disgusted when he threw that pick. Huh? You know, to end the game the other day. Yeah, you know, and they read it perfectly. But, but you know, he didn't go, go crazy. You know, he just went like this. He's like, "Shit, I blew it. I messed up. I messed up." Yeah, yeah. And Bass, you know, he misses the field goal. Unfortunately, there were no timeouts left, so the game's over. Yeah, all they need to do is get that first down and take a knee. and then take three knees. Yeah, and uh, a terrible way to end a really exciting game. Yeah, to see it end like that. Oh. Jay Swift said the same thing. She kept saying, "She goes, it's too much time on the clock." We knew that from the last couple of years it's ago. Too much time on the clock, and you can't give this ball back to Mahomes with that much time. And and she says, she goes, I think at that time it was about four and a half minutes left on the clock. She goes, let him go down the field and score. Yeah. This exactly. way, you come back and you have the ball. You to, have to score, not a field goal. Yeah. But again, credit, kudos to the defense for KC. Oh yeah. And sorry, Buffalo, you didn't do what you should have did. You didn't. Get the first down. You didn't get the touchdown. You relied on a field goal in not great condition. Definitely makeable, but not a home run, a guarantee. Yeah, like a what, forty yard? I think I'm not. I don't want to quote me on this, but I think it was like between forty and forty-seven yards. That's a long in a windy, cold field. That yeah. ball's like a rock. Oh, I know. I know. So it's one of those things where, like, you know, again, these are the ones. When the game's on the line, that you you know, you gotta make and I'm not not shitting on Bass here. Again, the conditions yeah. were tough. Uh, the the stakes those, are high. Dix catches those two passes, one early and one late. I mean, the one late was would have been a great catch, but the great ones make the catches. The Jerry Rice's in my day of the world. Oh yeah, Bicycle Barris, many years ago. These guys make the catch. Michael, Ir- what's his name? Irvin in Dallas. Well, who was the one in Pittsburgh, uh, the Pittsburgh Steeler that made that mir- uh, miracle oh, catch in oh, the end zone? It was Antonio Holmes. It's Antonio Holmes, yeah. yeah. And my day, Lynn Swan. Oh my God, and Terry Bradshaw made catches unbelievable. But they don't want to make them. That's the reason they won. And that's and that's make them. Solidifies their name in a positive aspect. Yeah. Where as like, great as Stefan Diggs is, till he wins something, you know. You're never going to be a Hall of Famer unless you're, you know, uh, I don't know. Like I said, you got to make the plays. And they definitely miss Gabe Davis, who was out with a knee injury, because he killed Kansas City in that game that we did lose. They did lose. I was rooting for Buffalo. You know why. Oh, no, no. I, I mean, there's, there's, there's quite a few reasons I was rooting for Buffalo. Yeah. It was not just for, like, my late sister, your late daughter, yeah. Melissa, but also... You know, it's New lost. York. Yeah, it is. Right? We have a new. We had a New York team in the playoffs. Of course, I'm going to support New York. Yeah. And I'm um, like I said, I was tired. I want to see. Uh, that's another Josh reason. Allen, you know, get to a championship game, which I don't think he's ever gotten to. No, he's always been eliminated. Reminds me of uh, Michael Jordan eliminating the Knicks all the time. I was thinking about Dan Marino. With Joe Montana. Yeah. Always losing. Yeah. So it, it, you know, I just. I'm at that point now where I, you know, no matter what happens, I am. I don't care who is facing the Chiefs. I want them to lose. Ravens. I want them to lose bad. Ravens. I want. I want Mahomes to sit there and like. I want that karma to come back and be like, you know what? When Brady beats this a couple of years ago, thirty-one nine. Yeah. Yeah. I want that because it is just those. again like you know to to act the way you acted. It is one thing, it is one thing, you know, it is different from an aspect of when the fans sit there, and whether they mock you or do this, that, and the third, they're the fans. They have every right to come into the stadium and say and feel the way they feel. You, as a professional, making half a billion dollars should show a little bit more fucking, again, like, class. Yeah, you know, I hope they show that again. I gotta see this. Mm Mm-hmm. Disgusting. I'll pull it up at the end. Okay. I can't do it on the show. No, no, I know. But uh, like you know, when we're off air, disgraceful. I'll show. I'll, I'll show you how that game ended. I'll show you the highlights. The Lions game. They were all hugging and shaking each other's hands. You know, when the uh, Detroit won. That's the, that's the, that, that that that's how it should be. Yeah. No. You know, it's one thing. It's one thing to have. These ridiculous celebrations in the end zone, 
But now, like when you, when you, when you, when you let certain things get out of control, like, like I mean, I mean, this is where Andy Reid, like, you know, this is this is the team you're leading, yeah. right here. You're the head coach. I would be ashamed. I would be disappointed. Ashamed. I'd be ashamed. Yeah, ashamed, this. disappointed. Yeah. I'd be like, yo. Yeah. I'm sure he went to McDermott and gave him a hug. And he has a, you know, he's definitely a respectable guy. No, no, I'm not, yeah. yeah I'm but, not taking but, anything but, away from him. So see his players do that? Well, it's sorry. like, are you losing control of the team well, in that little guard? I retire. That's what I'm rumors out here. Now, speaking of which, which we got, hold on a second, Luddy over here redeeming the Tabasco treats. I got you, Luddy. Tabasco flavored jelly beans. Some of them are actually like sweet and spicy, like they got the, the sweetness to them. And some of them just actually kind of kick you. Yeah. Kick you in the mouth. Oh, you got a your peppermint patties in the bottom there. I, know, I said, literally, Papa K brings me York peppermint patties. And I, I specifically keep one in my mini fridge over here just in case. One of them gets a little too crazy. Now, I don't have that to spicy up right now because my stomach's not feeling that level of heat, but I could definitely do it with the Basky treat. Cheers, Letty. Thank you for the uh, channel treat redemption, my friend. If I ate that, I'd be sent to the hospital. No. You wouldn't be happy. No, I wouldn't. I don't want spicy stuff. No, if you ate the Carolina Reaper no, one. No, no, no. Don't even think about that. Then that would be a... Um, like you would be looking for milk and dairy products. Yeah, emergency room. Yeah. That's the kind of shit that makes you question, like, who made this? Yeah. Why? The devil. <laughs> well. Well, the tough part about the jelly beans. Stick in your teeth. They stick in your teeth. And it's like, I just want it. Go away. Not, th not, not these. These aren't terrible. Like, you notice, I could have a conversation with you. No, with the other one. When I get hit with the Carolina Reaper one, I'm like, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Emergency room. Ready for Tabaski, each 25 minutes uh, through the whole stream. I think I can handle it. Like I got, I got a lady, I see you over there. I think I can handle it. I got, I got, I got a peppermint patty over here. <laughs> no, don't make him do it. No, I can. I, I think like if, so. It's every 25 minutes. Yeah, this will wear off in 25. I space certain things out. One pops. One of the biggest mistakes I made. Chat, chat. You all took advantage of this. I didn't think that these uh, the the fiery five was going to be as hot as it was, and I had it set where like multiple people could redeem it at one time. Big mistake. Like I think like two or three people in chat redeemed it at the same. I had to eat three of them at one time. That's torture. And I was like, this, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, decisions were made and they were not good ones. <laughs> You can't learn from your mistakes unless you make them, right? Yeah, oh yeah, no, believe me. Woo! Boy, I've made zillions. And as I get older, I start to, I don't know, live and learn. Live and learn? Yeah. You change your attitude about things, you know, that you were stupid about when you were younger. You know, you were uh, criticized. You were, I don't think I was ever, but people are prejudiced against other people. That's not me. No. Especially not now, you know. I don't judge anybody. You know, like you said about what they did, I don't judge them. I just give you an opinion. I think it was wrong. But oh, yeah, no. You know, I'm not judging them. That's not a judge. Yeah, we were stating. The fact. This is, this. you know, it was outright disrespectful. That's something I would have did. No. No way. Again, when you are a role model. Professional. There's multiple commercials. Multiple like commercials. So you, you, you do work with, with children. And stuff, and this is the attitude mm. that you bring Terrible. at the end of a game. Like, there's such thing as a sore loser. That was some sore winning shit right there. Yeah, yeah. We got Chuny girl in the chat saying the cat and Papa Cat. What's up, Chuny? How you doing tonight? How's everything going? Papa Cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's the cat. Papa K. Cool cat. Not me. What? How's it going, Chuny? How you doing? Luddy says, I don't want you to feel too bad with the spicy one, so I will help you build up a spicy tolerance. 
With all the Tabasco I have taken, I would have a couple of spicy by now. I tell you what, man, Luddy. This is the only jelly beans I've ever had that came with a warning. <laughs> now you know you're in trouble. You know, if you have asthma, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Do not leave near children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have heart Come conditions, on. do not eat these things. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Side effects. Liver problems, kidney problems, mm -hmm. lining of the stomach burnt out. Sorry. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, they, they, it's... Well, I remember one time I gave, um, Oopsie was here. Yeah. And he, he wanted to try the Carolina Reaper one. I gave it to him and instantly gave him hiccups. Really? Yeah. He ate it, swallowed it, and he went... <laughs> and then that went on for about 15 minutes. But it didn't hurt? With the oh, no, it hurts. No. I don't care how tough he was trying to act. Anything that gives you hiccups immediately... Yeah. Speaking of which, I won't say too loud. I haven't had hiccups in years. Oh, not that I jinx myself, of yeah. course. Now, that, now the entire second half of the show, I was going to be like, ah, 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 My ah. dog gets hiccups more than I do. Mindy? Yeah. Not long. Maybe for like 30 seconds, but you can see. Is <laughs> <laughs> a little freak out? <laughs> we got Lenny says, uh, my asthma wouldn't handle them, I think. Oh, boy, asthma. Tabasco is good, though. Yeah, stick with the... Yeah, it's, it's, Tabasco, that's hot. No, no. The Carolina Reaper is I'm way hot. Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, I that's not that, up there. Put that, that shit on everything. Is that what they say? Put yeah. Bleep it up? Yeah. And that's not hot? Not compared to Habanero, Cayenne, Carolina wow. Reaper. Carolina I'd Reaper... I'd putting that on hot dogs, hamburgers... You know, Frank's Red Hot? Oh, man. I put it in my mac and cheese. Ugh. Oh, it's so good. Ugh. Trudy says, I'm peachy. Uh, did you try Spy Family yet? Not yet. Not yet. That's going to be like a weekend thing, Trudy. Because that? Uh, it's a, it's a anime TV show. Series. Uh, I think you said Netflix, right, Trudy? Uh, something, uh, you know, Trudy recommended. Speaking of Netflix... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me just finish. But she recommended it. I just thought uh, that that'll be something because I feel like if I do end up watching it on a work night, then I'm gonna get hooked, and then I'm gonna go into work the next day off a of very little sleep. I'm like what happened? I was I was watching Spy Family. You know, so I just uh, when it comes to checking out new things, I, I like to give myself like the weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah, have the day off. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 What were you saying about Netflix? They just signed a five billion dollar contract with WWE. Nice. Yeah. Speaking of signing, we were talking about this gentleman earlier today. Jason Kelsey is not retiring. He's changed his mind already. He uh, he signed a one year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles to return as their center. Wow. All so. Right. I think he did that on the spur of the moment when they got the ass kicked by Tampa. Well, he even stated, because so um, Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey, they have their own podcast together as well. Okay. And, uh... Probably. I don't... The, hey, easy, because again, we have equipment over here. <laughs> Throwing shit at me. <laughs> Get you a fucking bib. <laughs> But no, they. Um, oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, and, I'm not and, surprised. And he had he had told Tra he told his brother Travis. He goes, you know, in that moment, there's a lot of emotions going on. Yeah. You know, it's not an easy thing to get to where we got to, and then to you know, yeah. and, and again at this point, he's going to be 37. Uh, you know, it's. They fired the coach, defensive coach already. But at this, you know, uh, well. But they kept Sirianni. You know, yeah, it's uh, it, it's one of those things that where he was, he, he it was, it was, he was just thought of as emotion. He thought it was going to be his last game. As time passes and you, you, you get a chance to think about it, and go, okay, can I do this one more season? So yeah, Jason Kelsey is going to be back for the Philadelphia Eagles for at least one more season. Yeah. I don't know the terms of the contract. Probably one year, maybe. I don't know what he signed. They for. don't make a lot of money. Uh, speaking of Sirianni, that's a class act. When they lost to Tampa, got their butt kicked. 
He was phenomenal on a post-game interview. Yeah. Kudos to the Tampa Bay and Baker Mayfield. Good luck to them. We didn't do our job. We haven't been good for the last seven weeks. You know, hopefully we can turn it around next year. But he was class act. See that right there? That's again. That's a, that, that, that's a level of professionalism. And, they, and he got, and he didn't get fired. Yeah. Get, well, they may get fired after next year, but who knows? Who knows? You don't know what they're gonna do next year. That's mm-hmm. all. Uh, that's all future stuff right here. They still have a good team. Believe me. Chuni says it's on Hulu and Crunchyroll. Okay, so I can find it on Hulu then. Thanks again. See, Chuni, you know, my memory, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm definitely not an elephant. An elephant never forgets. My memory, I'm like a fish. <laughs> it, 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 you know, I'm like, uh, you're finding fish me. Fish are stupid, you know. <laughs> they go for that silvery thing when you throw it in the water. They think it's something and they grab it and it's not even food. Yeah, it's, I probably should have named myself Mr. Fishkas. Fishkas? <laughs> Whiskers, Fishkas. Well, Whiskers likes to eat Fishkas. <laughs> you think about it. Wait, yeah. That was a poor joke. I just, yeah. You know, just, uh, you know, pretend, pretend nobody heard any of that, yeah. actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, like, you know, it's just, it's weird. Like, the things that I will remember and the things I don't remember, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. No, sometimes I lay in bed I can't think of the actor that I- was in a movie. In a movie you're thinking of? And, and I gotta go through the whole alphabet like nine times till I get it. That's just me. But I remember a good friend of mine who passed away. He says, whenever you can't forget somebody's name, go through the alphabet. And p- make sure you have his picture in your head and you'll get it. He was 100% right. Okay. Every time, you know, I forget a name. See, uh, Chuni says, my favorite sports are bowling and volleyball. Bowling, yeah, yeah. I love bowling. I love watching, like, PBA champions here. They have it on. Those. Volleyball's fun, too. Yeah, but bowling? I can't believe how those guys can roll that ball almost the same way nine out of ten times. Oh, well, you know, what's, cra- what's even crazier, and I'm going to add to what you just really blow your mind. So, Wild Man Dave is a, a phenomenal bowler. Mm-hmm. And, you know, me and him have had chats, you know, together. And he's, he's got a hell of a fucking shelf of bowling trophies he's won. Should have become pro. Well, that's what he is. So he, he told me about how the pro circuits and, like, the amateur circuits work. Yeah. There are different oil patterns. On the lane? On the lane as, as things progress. And then you have to, as, as a bowler, figure out really? what the oil pattern is. So when you see him doing a curve like that, sometimes you've got to spin that ball or throw it in a spurt and spot. Mm. Like, you know, like the same spot and the same throw and the it's same not. spin is not going to work every time because as you progress to the next stage, they change the oil patterns. And I've actually... Sounds unfair. It's part of it. It's kind of like when you're playing in a dome, out of a dome. When you're playing on, like, you know, it, it, I, that's how I compare it to. Well, this week is a prop. You know, think about it this way. Do you think it's fair that every baseball field has different dimensions? Why not make them all universal? Well, some of these fields have been around since nineteen early 1900s. But it's going to change. As we think of... Boston, Wrigley Field. As we think of sports and where the challenges are and what the challenges are, like that's the thing with bowling. You have to be able to figure out the oil pattern. It's pretty hard. Well, I'm sure there's some of these professionals. Like you just said, you see him throw that shit ten times in a row and get the same result. Just miss, you know. Like I know where they want to hit all the time. You know, right? The head pin and the right pin, right in between. And sometimes, you know, you just miss a little bit, and you know, you get maybe nine down or whatever it is. Yeah. Not the other one. The worst is that seven ten split. Oh, you get splits. Forget it. Yeah. I think I've only. Hit a seven ten split once. I think I might have in my early. I can't even throw the ball anymore because of my shoulders. And I remember how I hit that. I just threw it. I was like, "This is my game plan. I'm going to throw it as hard and as straight as I can to hit the one pin on the left and bounce it off the wall to hit the other one." That's how you make it. And that was the only time that I I, 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 I hit it that one time. It was the right, 
Yeah, hit it in the if, right spot. If you hit it ten, if you did it ten times, you might not even do that ten times. If I did it a hundred times, I might not do it <laughs> once. <laughs> All right. so, for me, how hard is seven ten times? My grand, my grandpa destroyed my family in bowling. Oh shit, Luddy, you ever bowl at three hundred? Well, I'm guessing if he's destroying, because I know Wildman's got a couple three hundred games. No, no, you know, Keith. Well, for Keith had a couple of 300s. I remember. Yeah. Uh, actually, the late, great Jerry Hurd, and I believe Jeff has thrown uh, 300s. Wow. They're also, you know, you know, Jerry was a great bowler, and, yeah, uh, you know, good. Jeff, very, very, very talented as well. Fucking Jay Swift is good. She's beaten me quite a few times on the, on the lake. I mean... Nothing taken away from her. You talking about my daddy? Talking about your dad, your brother, and you. Uh, you said great bowlers. You beat him. I said, but he sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not great. <laughs> Shit, I'll, I'll let her fool you. I didn't get but it. Right, didn't, didn't uh, your father and uh, even your brother bowl 300 games a couple times? Yeah, I had rings and stuff. Like in tournaments rings? And stuff. Yeah. They went to oh. Vegas. Yeah, and they could tell you, like, you know, I wish Jerry was still here, but I, I'm sure Jeff could tell you about the different, they, they do use different oil patterns when you start getting to that higher level of competitiveness. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah you have to have talk I about that. I didn't know that until he just said it. I know, but, well, my wild band competed in, like, uh, some of the conversations we had. Jeff's a lefty, so he's got a slick, like, psh, Earl Anthony on. was one of the best pros, but he was a lefty. Yeah, he's he has a that lefty. curve. Mm-hmm. It looked like it was going to be a gutter ball. Yep. And right, then, on, shh, right on the line. Right on the edge, like on the lip, mm-hmm. and just curve right into the zone. So cool. Yeah. So. I got a curve, I just can't control it. Yeah. That's why you suck. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. No, I've seen you ball 140, maybe, 150. Well, no, I had, like, when I was, what was it? When I was in, the, believe it or not, when I was in the league as a kid, my average was 180. 180? Oh. That's phenomenal. I take it back. Yeah, you're better. I didn't know that. No, when I, when I was a kid. No. Whatever. And that's because when I used to throw it, when I used to bowl as a kid, I had a very different approach. I I, I wish I knew what hard. I did. But Which I can't do it anymore. Now, no, well, I don't do that either anymore. Because uh, then when I learned how to curve it, I was saving my arm. Because I would get into the late game, and that's when I started sucking, even as a kid, because my arm would get tired. Uh, Bye, Jay Swift. Shooting Girl says her bowling average is 180. That's Damn. Good. That is really good. Yeah, I think when I was younger, way younger, I mean, I'm talking my late teens, early 20s, I probably was like a 140. 140? Average, okay. yeah. Luddy says his, uh, he did do, uh, his grandpa did bowl 300 games. Okay, I never did. Uh, we went uh, to a bowling team back when he was uh, younger. Oh, shit. That's something right there. I can't even imagine the immense amount of pressure a bowler feels. I can't imagine what when they the get cost that. is now. Huh? The cost of a game is ridiculous. Well, not... Yeah. It really is. Everything price-wise is ridiculous. I understand. I'm not comparing now to when I was... Wait, wait, wait. How much is... A, when was the last time you went to a bowling alley? Well, just to drink beer and watch you guys. Yeah, but even then, like, how much... I don't even know how much... It's been a while. I don't even know how much it costs now. It's like 4 or $5 a game. What was it, Two? Back in the day? Two dollars a game? Oh, no. With me? Yeah. Quarter. Yeah. Yeah, it was a quarter game when I was like 16, 17. But again, that was like 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah, a quarter of a I game. mean, still, when you think about like ways you can entertain yourself. I love outside, it. Outside. Well, no, hold on a second. Let me, outside of the house, even four or five dollars a game ain't that bad compared to like no, if you I go understand. do something else. I understand the difference, price. I go to bowling alley, you get a pitcher of beers. What, eight bucks? Mm-hmm. It's not even a regular pitcher anymore. Pitcher used to be like this big. Now it's like this big. No. Oh yeah, I could tell you the pictures of my mm-hmm. day. Like that. No, that's cheap. Yeah, it's like that. Maybe, maybe you get six glasses of beer at a pitcher. My day twelve. Yeah. No, not even close. Not even glasses, paper cups, uh, not paper, plastic Watch cups. anything like uh, Oktoberfest in Germany. You see the size of the pitches. They're massive. It's a different country. Mm-hmm. And the beer supposedly is phenomenal. 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 I don't know if I would like it, though, because I'm used to American beer, you know? No, you wouldn't. I, I already know you wouldn't. No, it's probably strong. You don't like a strong beer. 
Might be stronger. But, uh, you know, what's his name told me? Uh, a neighbor of mine did Oktoberfest, and he goes, they have variation of beers, and he goes, most of them are strong. But they're all ones that are mild. Lighter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Trudy does say, enjoying myself a catfish sandwich right now. Catfish? Oh, shit. Catfish sandwich. Like, what, what kind of things go on a catfish sandwich? Imagine it's more than just the catfish. Where's she from? Trudy? I don't know. Oh. Well, certain countries love fish. That's no, no, nice. I don't. Well, no, no, I get that. I just... I don't know either. I'm a tuna fish I'm pretty sure, Trudy, maybe, you're from the States, right? And maybe a flounder or a halibut. I just, like, when it comes to stuff out of the water, shrimp. No, I don't I like could go for shrimp, a coconut shrimp. Oh, baby. No, not me. No, I don't like lobster. I don't like crab. Chuni is from Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, well, that's fishing country. Oh, shit. I was listening Cat- to a show today, uh, BT. Yeah. And he wants to go to Alaska because he loves to fish. No, no, you're good. Just... He said the halibut in Alaska are like, I don't know, I might be exaggerating. He says are enormous, like five, ten times of the halibut you catch here. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. So, like, Pops, I'm going to be right back. Chat, I'll be right back. I'm just going to use the restroom real quick. I apologize. I'll just sit here and sleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. No, I heard a catfish, obviously, but I've never had it. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a seafood guy. I wasn't raised on it. My mother uh, and father... My father ate anything, but my mother didn't make fish a lot. You gotta remember one thing. I don't want to get back to my days when I was a kid. We ate a lot of soup. (laughs) We ate a lot of eggs and potatoes. Cheap. At that time. I think I had home fries and uh, two uh, sunny side eggs almost every day for lunch. Sunday, we had meat, hot roast, mulatin. But during a week, Soup City, cheap. Now, <laughs> even soup is expensive. It's amazing how the prices have gone up, you know, from my day till now. It's killer. I actually think I still have, I, 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 no, I still have the Omaha cod. Oh, from, uh... Yeah, the Omaha cod. I'm, I'm, I'm saving. I, I think I have four or five of them left in the freezer uh, for when, like, when Blue and them come up mm-hmm. for uh, Super Bowl. Because I know, I know, Blue out. likes fish. Three weeks away. And uh, yeah, and uh, mom, mom was telling me because she got the same package that we have, uh, so she got it for us as a gift. It was uh, called the Comfort Foods Omaha package or whatever. And, uh, you know, it came with, and she was like, you know, mom loves fish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she was like, the cob is spectacular. So, and, you know, I know we gave some to our neighbor to try, because mm-hmm. uh, we don't really eat a lot of fish in this house. No, 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 no. But, uh, you know, you know, come, come Super Bowl, we're going to be making, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be making some cod. Well, that's good for you. Uh, I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to eat my... No, that's right. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I wanted to hold on to half the package, like I said, for frozen, blue. Right? Yeah, the vacuum sealed, frozen. Okay. That's good. Fish don't stay good very long unless it's frozen. Oh, yeah, no. And again, vacuum sealed is a big thing right there. Trudy mm-hmm. says, that I, work, uh, I work in a nice hotel. Oh, shit. Hotel life. Jackson. You like you like uh, you like the you like working where you're at. I mean, you say it's a, you're saying it's a nice hotel. Like you you like uh, you happy. You like your job because that's a big thing. Oh yeah, liking where you work. Oh yeah, no, I did for a long, long time, and then later on I didn't. But you know, we were treated differently. It is true. Yeah, I remember management changes. You know, she's in Jacksonville. You said Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, so your Jaguars got knocked out. She's not a football fan. Like, you know, even if she was, I think she would know that already. Yeah. That's like, but that, that, we were just talking about sportsmanship here. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, if she's a football fan, she, she would know that already. She and that's would. like past tense. Yeah, I know. They lost the It was wild game. card weekend. No, they didn't make it. No, oh, they didn't, that's right, they didn't make it. So, like, why even bring it up? 
I'm just, I heard Jacksonville. That's it. And I like their quarterback. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, I right? I love this guy. I, I just, you know, the year before they made it. <laughs> Between him and Herbert, I think, I, I always predict they're going to be stars. And it hasn't happened yet. You know, really. Herbert, really, nothing yet. Kind of injury prone. Justin, uh, uh, what's his name? Justin what? No, no, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, rather. He just Trust Justin Herbert. Yeah, and Trevor Lawrence got hurt in the midseason, so he missed when they lost five straight. You know, they were eight and three. All of a sudden, they were a 500 team. But we had we had, we had had a season of quarterbacks getting injured left and right. Oh, the whole year. I'm you know. Them. Even guys right now that are playing, they're hurt. That don't matter. They're going to play. You know, you, yeah. Unless they really, really can't play like uh, Gabe Davis couldn't play. He had a bad knee, he couldn't run. I get it. And it probably kills them not to be able to play in a playoff game at home against a team you definitely want to beat. Uh, hold on a second. We got Luddy saying, since you find the spicy being spicy, you like stuff like Carolina Reaper snacks, etc.? No. Even with my asthma, I find uh, that really good. Ooh, asthma. Ooh. Uh, there are things that I enjoy, like the taste-wise. Like they had a... You know, I've had like... Ghost pepper, burritos, and things like that. See, this is all on him. I don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, but here's what's funny. Is Papa K, you have actually... There have been moments that even you've surprised me. Yeah, yeah I probably didn't know what I was doing. No, you did. You did, because I remember I told you. We had, it was I think it was two years ago. The wings? We had two years ago, it was the wings we got. And we got just basic, like, sauceless wings from a pizza place. But there should... There, 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 there's dry seasoning that they uh, bread the wings with. I, I, no, it was because you kept coming in. You were like, "Ha, huh, ha!" Huh. Where the hell did I eat it? You said the flavor was good. Mm. Must have been stupid there. I have stupid moments. <laughs> As do we all. Yeah, we I'm are more, human beings. I'm more than others. But no, but no, but that's the thing, though, Dad. When it comes to spicy, it could have a good flavor and still and be hot. There are some things out there that are spicy and that are just like 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 you're eating battery acid. Yeah. You know, you're just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I remember uh, Tommy McBallin gave me you know, like chicken wings one time. Work. And he goes, here, I can't eat this. Not knowing that he loves spicy stuff. And I took a couple of bites and I'm like, huh? Ah! It took like an hour until I got that out of my mouth. That tastes so. Well, I learned later on because again, Papa K, you're you know you were born in Germany. Yeah. Came to this country when you were like six. Five. Five. And then even like uh, you know with Grandma making uh, the, you know the foods that she made. There, there I was, was just talking about that while you went to bathroom. Yeah. I said we ate a lot of soup. Yeah, it Egg, was eggs and potatoes. Like black pepper was the hottest thing over, and even my father would eat it, but not not anybody else. But Jay has told me, because Jay, now Jay lives in Germany with his yeah. wife yeah. And, his, and their kid. Right. And when he, you know, uh, once in a blue moon, when he comes back over to the States to visit, he'll, he brings me treats from Germany. Yeah. There's these the little candies he gets, too, that I'm fucking I'm obsessed with. Okay. I forget what they, I forget what they are. They're like raspberry fucking, I, I don't know what they're, what they're called. What's your point? Yeah, hot? No. But he goes, and he told me, he goes, ah, this there is nothing spicy in Germany. See, there you go. My, the front rest. He goes, this is the spiciest beef jerky we have. And he gave it to me, these thin little sticks. That's why we lived longer. <laughs> we didn't kill ourselves. Spicy is not bad for you. It's actually really good for your digestive tract. I don't think it's good for your lining, though. That's my no, 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 I'm not no. a doctor. Stress is not Christian. good for your lining. Spicy... I don't think it's good it's actually not bad for you. I think it's bad for your blood pressure. I think it mm -mm. could kill. If you're really a spice eater, constantly, it'll kill your lining in your stomach eventually. Uh, but I, what I'm saying is anything you do, overdo, yeah. is bad for you. Yeah. If you drink too much water, it's bad for you. I don't see how. Because you're actually flushing all the nutrients and things out of your system. Right. So... If you eat too much spicy stuff, yeah, it's bad for you. But if you occasionally eat it, it is it is uh, good for you. Point, yeah. you're, you're I mean, peppers it, are yeah. peppers are high in vitamin C. Well, I love green peppers. Huh? Yeah, I talk about peppers in general. I grow them every year. Green, red, whatever. 
I'm not uh, hypocritical about that. I love the flavor in my sauce. You love stuffed peppers. Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. God. I think I have uh, somebody make them for me again. I don't know who do. Maybe uh, Mary Ellen. Let's see. Lenny says, when you eat enough spice, you can start taste the actual taste of food. The spice will slowly go away over time. Like Korean noodles. I found them really spicy, but not today. What okay. noodles? Korean noodles. Oh, really? Yeah. But, like, I see where... Luddy, I see what you're saying here, bro. Like, as your taste bud... Like, for instance, the first time you tried beer. Loved were you? It. First time you tried it. Loved it. Right away. As a kid, like, did you ever get Seven, a... I was 17. You never had it as, like, a kid? Never. No. I remember the first time you let me taste your beer. Yeah, I was different. I was, I, you know, my father was. I a spit drinker. that shit out all over the place. My father wasn't a beer drinker. He liked his uh, JD. Now look at me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, first time I loved it, and it was uh, from a bar tap. You know, in those days it was all about cans and bottles, like it is Well, yeah, now. tap beer is different. Oh my god, it was so good. Tap. A buck and a quarter, for like this size. Tap beer. I mean, Jesus. It is. Alfred's was the bar. I never forget it. Well, yeah. I'll tell you this much. Like, yeah, I, I love, especially in a frosted mug, mm -hmm. ice cold tap. You mean at any time? An ice cold, like an ice cold Budweiser, it's or even, time. oh my God, an ice cold Blue Moon. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, yeah. it, you know, in a I frosted see that all mug. The time now, Blue Moon. The Blue Moon's a good one. What? I see more than anything right now, Modelo. Remember, you know which one I really... With that, well, yeah. You know which one I really liked back in the day? I used to sneak them out. Uh, when Melissa and Sean were still dating. Mm -hmm. Sean loved Honey Brown. Okay, yeah, yeah. And he, remember, you used to keep like a... Or he'd bring it over, or you'd buy him a case or leave it in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. And I I'd sneak that. that. It, yeah, it was, it was beer brewed with honey. And it had a very interesting aftertaste to it. And I remember, I, I, I would sit there, I'd sneak one, and I would just sip it. Playing video games? I was a Budweiser guy for yeah. a while. Schaefer, Budweiser, Miller Lite, back to Budweiser, and now uh, Miller Lite for I don't know how long already. Oh, yeah, no, it's been Probably a over 10 years now. Well, listen, we are going to take our first break right now. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with the Pops playoff picks. We're getting closer to the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. It's sad, ain't it? Oh, my God, is it yes, sad? Yes, you know what? Baseball's around the corner. Baseball's around the corner, but you know what? Again, the build up to Super Bowl is really exciting. Nice. Yeah. It's a fucking holiday for me. I'm very grateful my job gave me the day off after Super Bowl. What a, what a great day. So, like, that you know. The day after Thanksgiving, one of my favorite days to oh, be off. Like, we are going to be living it up over here. Again, I'm going to be ordering, uh, you know, I, I, I'll go out. I'll buy it the day before, heat it up in the oven. I'm thinking two full racks of ribs and two trays of a honey butter cornbread. Okay. I know you said you're going to do potato pancakes and uh, breaded chicken cutlets. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll have a vegetable platter with ranch dip, right? Oh, I'll pick that up, yeah. All, so, already, you know, the big one. Yeah, yeah, the big, the big one. Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, yeah, we're gonna. It, it, it's gonna be a great. You're gonna time. be stuffed. It's gonna be an awesome. We'll be right back. Like I said, we got pops playoff picks. We also have a trivia question for anybody interested in getting involved. Uh, don't go anywhere now. The show ain't over yet. We'll be right back.
All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your host. My name's Mr. Whiskers, and to my right, Papa K. We got Blue in the chat. What's up, Blue? Hey, just got in with Ms. Blue. How's everything doing? Did I hear you guys giving a rundown of what's going down at the Super Bowl party? You damn right. Mm -hmm. We got Luddy says, uh, what do we got here? Uh, what about coffee? I didn't find that good, but I love it today. Oh, my God, I'm right there with you, Luddy. Coffee is a wonderful thing. Cherry says, I like marijuana. <laughs> nope, doesn't everybody? It's it's legal in a lot of states now, including here in New York, so let's go. <laughs> oh, you're actually doing way better than me. Hmm. So as a quick, I just give that quick rundown again. So Blue, I had found, uh, you know, Jay Swift, myself, and uh, my friend Roxy. We found this uh, wonderful place called uh, Handsome Devil's Barbecue, and they have some incredible food. Uh, they did say they catered. I, I do plan on ordering uh, some stuff, and I wanted to get two full racks of ribs and two full trays of honey butter cornbread. Papa K is going to be doing breaded chicken cutlets and potato pancakes. We're going to have a vegetable platter with... Uh, like ranch dip, and of course, just like peanuts, chips, cheese, things like that. Okay. So. Good. Right? Yeah. You know who's in the lead in this? Not that it matters. Me? No. No. Green. Green! Nine and three. Oh, shit! And closest to that is Thunder. Eight and four. Blue is seven and five. You're six and I six. I see you, Luddy. You're six and six, and I'm four and eight. I'm terrible. I'm betting with my heart, not my head, like an idiot. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> Woo! Does blue uh, like beer? So we know what to get. Yeah, blue. Do you have a? <laughs> That one was a little spicier. <laughs> I'm good. Sure. Blue, do you have a particular beer? I already know. I got a, a cocktail I'm going to make for Blue. Okay. I'm going to go with a, a, uh, my version of a smoked old-fashioned. And I saved. I got a half a bottle of that Basil Hayden, brother. You got to remember, it's Denver, so they might be drinking different stuff. Of course, life, number one there. I had some conversations with Blue. I got a feel for, uh, you know, at least uh, whiskey and bourbon, right? The, you know, I, I got an idea. Bless you. I got, my boss gave me uh, the tray for the ice cubes, the bald ice. Okay. You see this yet? I just checked. Oh. Don't worry about it. Do the show. We, we, we can do this. I'll do it later. We can show chat, too. Come on, this is cool. If you must. I must! Not gonna argue with him. We argue enough. <laughs> yeah. This week, and then I gotta wait two yep. weeks. I hate it. Yep. So apparently, right, when you drink bourbon or whiskey, you get, and and, and uh, my, my manager, John, he told me he he he's, he's loves bourbon whiskey as well. He goes, you gotta get the you know have the right ice cubes to do it. And so he gave me, as a gift, one of uh, his ice cube trays. Let's see. And so then it creates. Oh wow. Nice. Look at that! Look at that, Blue. Are you ready? I didn't want to say anything there, pops. Your heart can let you down? Why? What did you say? What happened? What did I miss? I don't know. Blue says, I didn't want uh, to say anything there, Pops. Your heart can let you down. Oh, I mean, I bet with my heart, not my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I, I don't know if I would have picked those teams. 
I just wanted to see different guys like uh, Love and Stroud, but deep down I had a feeling they weren't ready yet. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, they, that cost me my yeah, it cost me my losses. I bet Buffalo, like I said, because my son-in-law and my uh, daughter had loved Buffalo, so I was rooting for them since neither one of our teams were involved. And I thought this year they were home, finally beat KC, and it didn't happen. Now, the Mr. Whiskers tell me how Kansas City was very unsportsmanlike after the game. Mm-hmm. I hope I hope Baltimore kicks their ass. Yeah. Shooting girls know. loving some barbecue as well. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go with the uh, with KC. No, not anymore. We're going to uh we're gonna do um and we're gonna take pictures too. So anybody in the Discord there will be pictures. We will be bringing the Super Bowl chit chat back to the text uh, part of the Discord channel. So anybody watching the game that wants to, you know, shoot the shit with us as well, shoot the shit amongst each other, mm-hmm. we will have the Super Bowl chat back in Discord as well. Yep. So a lot of, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. It's, again, it's like a holiday. Uh, I got Chuni uh, girls saying, woo, ice balls. Apparently, that, that, that right? Oh, so chat, that is the appropriate way to enjoy... Like a, a glass of bourbon or whiskey oh, I I said, is, good. you know, because the way it, 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 it doesn't melt as quickly. It okay. chills the drink, mm-hmm. uh, and this way you can still enjoy uh, the flavor, the flavors that come with it. So, uh, Luddy said, whiskey is really good. Luddy, have you had a Basil Hayden yet? You might know that. That's it's definitely uh, not an American. I don't think. No, it is. It is American. It is. I, I see I the distillery. I think it's the Jim Beam Distillery. Oh, okay. By the title, I thought it'd be something more, you know, overseas. We got the passion in the chat. I'm a rum and vodka guy myself. What up, Wiz and Pops? What up, passion? I ain't dope, bro. Gee, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, Blue says we are looking forward to seeing Bills beat Casey, but now I am truly looking forward to the Ravens. Whooping the living dog poop out of KC. Same here. Same here. I just hope they uh, really embarrass them. Man. I don't think that's going to happen because in his favor, I know Mahomes is damn good. Weather's going to be an issue, I don't know yet. I haven't heard the forecast. So I know Frisco is going to be, as I still Mr. Whistle, 79 degrees. So yeah. No issues there. Not even rain, they claim. Yeah. <laughs> I just... After that, playing like that. <laughs> we had, uh, I think, uh, what is it, uh... It was either, I forgot who said it, but they go, feeling a, it's going to be a Detroit-Baltimore kind of Super Bowl. I would love to see for Detroit fans. They've never been there. Yeah. One of four teams that have never made the Super Bowl. So, I mean, that, I, could, be a, I that could be Cleveland. a wild game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Luddy says, only, only tried bourbon. I love it. Oh, yeah, bourbon. Hmm. Whew, I, got, I got this stuff. Uh, Luddy. And we get you over here in New York. You come over to the States. A little bit of this act. A little beacon, beacon bourbon. It's got that cork top right there. That's when you know you got the good stuff. It's when it's got that cork top. Woo! No. You want to smell it? No. I hate whiskey. A little bourbon or whatever. Oh. No. You'll never see me touch whiskey or, bur- or anything. The remainder of my... Nah. Hey, that's it's fair. That's fair. And I know. I know. I can't wait because I'm gonna be uh, making smoked cocktails mm-hmm. for Super Bowl. Yeah, right. Just as a, you know, one is just really fun to do, and the occasion itself is special. You know what a Super Bowl is, right? This year. Where it is? Yeah. No. Vegas. Vegas. You think about how much gambling is going to be going on in that game? Fever! No, no matter who plays? Las Vegas! God, the gambling is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> Billions. Oh, uh, let's see. You got Pash. says, when will we'll know who's playing at the Big Bowl this year, man? So, this weekend right now, Passion is going to determine who faces who 
in the Super Bowl. Yep. And right now it is Detroit versus San Francisco, and then we have uh, Kansas City versus Baltimore. So the winner of those two games will be facing each other in the Super Bowl. What Super Bowl? Super Bowl 50 what? Eight. Super Bowl 58. And I've seen every one. Damn. Yeah. Start with the first one, Green Bay. First two of Green Bay. Mm. Woo! You guys ready? You ready? I hope just, like I said, I hope this week's weekends are good games. I am so leery about who to pick. Well, I know I'm picking Baltimore because of what you're telling me. This one is a tough one, though. If Debo doesn't play, I'm going to go with Detroit. It'll be interesting. We're going to bring out Pop's playoff picks in a second here. Let me just read this real quick. Uh, Blue says, it was fun watching Josh Allen and Mahomes play for the simple fact of watching them uh, do the tit for tat. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was an incredible game until the end of the fourth quarter. Yeah, I hope you agree with Blue. When Bass missed the field goal, that game ended lousy because it was a great back and forth game. I think it was five lead changes mm -hmm. and uh, to see, you know, one team, which I know they're going to do, take a knee. That really disappointed me. So I was praying that Bass would make that field goal. And once again, it reminded me of 91 when Norwood missed the field goal. Wide right. Wide right. I was happy then because the Giants won. I'm taking this. Yeah. So, uh, you know. But it, it was a shame to see such a rivalry go great until two minutes left. True. Uh, Chuny Girl says... Hey, what's your favorite team, Wiz? Giants. New York Giants. Yeah, yeah. There is. Well, we got, uh, we got the Giants Stadium. Actually, if you can see the border of our show right now, mm -hmm. is Giants Stadium. I love the New York Giants. Um, we were rooting for the Bills because they are in New York since the Giants and the Jets didn't make it. Oh, well, yeah. We were kind of rooting for the Bills. I was tired of seeing Kansas City, but... Kudos to them. Blue saying you're absolutely right about what you were saying before. About the end of the game? Yeah. It was, it was disappointing. And Letty says, I can't remember the name of it, but I also remember loving a whiskey with a deer on it. It's in a green or brown box with a bottle inside it. Hmm. The hmm. deer thing, it doesn't sound like whiskey. That sounds like Jägermeister. <laughs> I don't know if they have, uh, they have a different name. You have it in, the, in your fridge. Jägermeister. I haven't touched Jäger in a minute. Oh, God. I never tried it. I, I, I just smelled it and I almost fainted. I think at, at this point like right now, I am, just, I am in such a bourbon kick. Yeah, good for you. A bourbon whiskey. Uh, it's just like, especially ever since I tried this Basil Hayden. And now, um, my you know, my manager was telling me, he goes, you need to try Angel's Envy. Yeah, I remember And, you know, I... I, I why did he come up with his names? At some point, I got to try this out. I recently just saw it, too. We were finishing up the show Shameless. And at the end, uh, they were in an uh, episode where they were doing a bourbon testing. And uh, you know, one of the characters was like, oh, my God, this Angel's Envy is delicious. And I was like, oh, shit, this is a sign. I need to get a bottle of this. Mm -hmm. But I heard it is not cheap, even like a small bottle. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, if it's that popular and that good, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a waste. Oh, yeah. Probably $50 for a quart. I mean, this, this, the, even even this one right here. I looked up uh, Basil Hayden. Hmm. And I, like, I know how much that bottle goes for. That's not a cheap bottle right there. But, man. Like, I can see, like, you know, when it, when, so I've, I've never been a big Scotch guy. But, like, I can see, like, when, when, when people uh, talk about Johnny Walker. And how like how smooth Johnny Walker Blue is, like I I, I can understand. Two hundred dollars a bottle, you told me. Two hundred dollars a bottle. Well, back then, I don't know what it is now, but two hundred dollars a bottle for Johnny Walker Blue. I had a friend of mine, Sal Salvador Xbox, big Scotch guy. I had a Johnny Walker Gold label that was gifted to me. Uh, from one of our neighbors that lived up the road. When they were moving, they were like, we don't want all this stuff. Remember. You remember, you pick what you want, and I saw the gold label, and I was like, I don't drink scotch, but I know a friend of mine who does. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed that bottle, 
And any time he would come over, he'd say, hey, can I get a glass on the rocks? Yes, you can. Because nobody else drinks this shit. Uh, but now I get it. Like, you know, like seeing like, you know, as much as, you know, as much as I love bourbon and whiskey. To, when I cracked that bottle open on stream and sh- it, 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 the smell hit my nose, I was like, oh. And then just, like, I, I just meant to, like, show the bottle off and, like, thank you so much for this wonderful gift. Mm-hmm. And then I had to crack it open. And then I was like, a whole new world. And then you know what you're dealing with. It gets excited over whiskey. Where things can be so smooth, put you in a groove. Yeah, I see you, pops. I'll get your beer. I don't even get excited over beer anymore. I do like having one, but this guy, Jesus Christ, singing over bourbon. bourbon. Sure I took a sip of this, and when I tell you, so you went, it went down so smooth. I could taste every fucking flavor in it. And now I've been experimenting with the smoker kit and, like, you know, all different kind of, like, variations and stuff. Yeah, I showed him a booze. Enough for the booze. No! I'm allowed to finish my statement, and then I'll show the board. Talking about booze in the last 10, 15 minutes. Oh, well, what? No so what? Cares. We've talked about so many things. No one cares. I care. Only booze drinkers care. Chat, can I get some ones in the chat? If you care about what I'm saying, and some twos, if you no want me to move on. I'm going to move on anyways, but I... Like, what the hell, Pops? Come on, man! I'm exci- I am I get excited about something. <laughs> Shuts me down. Damn. Let's see, uh, Wiz and Pops, when it comes to beer, I'm good with pretty much any beer. The leisure drinking, I am a big fan of your sponsor, Miller Lite. Oh, good. That'd be plenty All of that. All right, get ready. Get ready. We'll have to bring a van and to hoist it in. <laughs> <laughs> Back the truck up! Come on. Thank you, Miss Mo. <laughs> Miss Mo, you know she she wants to hear what I have to say. Why? He's in my field. What I'm talking about. <laughs> and she says, "Sorry, pops. <laughs> Deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah." <laughs> Miss Mo, how you doing? It's great to see you in chat. Thank you, Miss. It is delicious. And again, pops, one of the reasons I'm talking about this as well is because one. I'm excited about it too. I'm even more excited to make cocktails for our guests when I'm they come here. I'm a minority here because I'm not a booze guy. That's okay, but like I think even not being a booze guy, when you see like how how it's made, mm. like it's very interesting to watch the process. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I'd sorry. rather go to a beer distributor than watch how to make beer. Not a distributor. What do you call it? I made beer once. You didn't watch me make beer. Yeah, it wasn't very good. You didn't try it. Yeah, because it was flat. How would you know? You didn't try it. Because you, when I saw you drink, you went, yeah. I did not. I finished the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I gave Dave one. And he drank the whole did thing. Did Christian make his own beer too? I think so. Yeah. I know he grows his own hops. Oh, and they grow like wildfire. I know. Right on his fence. That shit spreads so quick. On his fence, man. Hundreds of them. <laughs> but, uh, I like whiskey and I can finally drink it again. Miss Mo, I got you covered. Super Bowl Sunday. You and Blue? Like I said, I saved half that bottle of Basil Hayden. Depending upon how, uh, you know, how, how uh, the barbecue thing runs me, I'm going to take a look and see if I can find that Angel's Envy at our I'll very... Take a, I'll take a peek. Take a peek? I'll leave that alone. Uh, for you, I'll, I'll look around. I'll go to a discount, see if they have it. Yeah. At a reasonable price. Well, we'll it's see like who gets there first. Yeah. Well, you, it's going to be me. You work, I don't. You have a routine. Yeah, but I can stop anything I want. <laughs> it's not summertime where I have to do the garden, cut the grass, you know, stuff like that. All right, let's go. We'll see who gets there first. He's looking at it. He, he can't stop himself. 
Uh, Trudy says, I do love a margarita. Oh, my God. Trudy, go. Yeah. Jay Swift and Broski make great yeah, margaritas over here. I've even had them. A One sip. of these days, we got to get you and your, and your significant other over here for a Super Bowl Sunday. It's only three weeks away. Doors open. Uh, I like to hear and learn about other whiskey, says Mismo. Uh, Mars are good, and when made with a great tequila, true, true, fantastic. Mm. Who do you guys think will win these games? Well, you here know what, we passion, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Pops playoff picks right here. And this week we've included oh, some additional shit. Let's go. In the middle here, we have the two games going on this weekend. This Sunday, right, Pops? Right. You want to announce the times? 3 o'clock Eastern Standard, 6.30. 6.30. So this Sunday, at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, 6.30 Eastern Time. Whatever that translates into your time. Oh, my God. Pops, playoff picks. Here we go. <laughs> we got the Chiefs. Versus the Ravens right here. The Detroit Lions versus the San Francisco 49ers. On the right side of the board, we have the over-under for Kansas City versus Baltimore. It's 44 and a half. For Detroit versus San Francisco, the over-under is 50. On the left side, we've included the spreads this time around. Kansas City is getting three and a half points. Baltimore obviously giving three and a half points. The spread for the Detroit-San Francisco game is six and a half points. With San Francisco giving Detroit that six and a half, ladies and gentlemen. For those that don't know what this means, Papa K, can you quickly go over what is it mean the over-under in right. a game? It's both teams combined. If you like the under, you have to hope they don't score more than 46 points. Uh, 45 points. It's 44 and a half, right? 44 and a half. So, yeah. for example, if Kansas goes. City versus Baltimore. If Baltimore wins 21 to 20... The combined score is 41. That would be under 44 and a half points. Right, the same goes for the other game. The it's same goes game. for the other game. Yeah. And if the combined score goes over that, that's when you would go with the over. Now, when it comes to the spread, Papa K, for example, right now we have Kansas City and Baltimore. Baltimore is giving Kansas City three and a half points. Can you describe well, what it is? Explain the spread. Baltimore would have to win by at least four or better. To cover that spread because they throw that what they call a hook that half point so if you're betting uh frisco favorite six no no, no. we're in kansas city baltimore oh oh sorry yeah, sorry yeah. sorry i explained that anyway. if you go on the other uh, game where frisco six and a half favorite they have to win by seven or more there's no push that's why vegas does the hook so give an example of the score baltimore versus kansas city baltimore is giving them three and a half if Give a final 20, score where Baltimore 20. wins. 24-20, Baltimore would win. Wins and covers. Covers the spread. Not the over and under. It'd be off by a half. 44 yeah. and a half. I said 24-20, that's 44 points. You lose by half a point. That's what Vegas has got you with that. Like we, I said, it's called a hook. Now, of course, you don't need to make your picks now because we will be posting this in the Discord under Pop's Picks. Right. Okay. And, of course, again, if you have any questions, whether it comes to the over, under, or the spread, please feel free to ask, and I will do, you know, I will do my best to explain even further what what it is. Yeah. But I think that right there was a very good explanation, Papa K. Yeah. And uh, let me catch up here with chat. Oh, we're going to go over this in a second, Passion. Luddy says, I love Bacardi raspberries, the best with Coca-Cola. I can go with the first half of that. Fuck the second half. <laughs> I think Pepsi would probably taste better. Uh, Chewy girl, give it a hype, hype, hype. Pops, picks, pops, picks, pops, picks. Wow. Let's go. Blue said, oh, my God, Ravens. 
Oh my God! San Fran to win. Oh. So Blues go with the Ravens. All right. So yeah, we got Blues going Ravens. So this is this is for the outright. Just who's going to win in general? Right. So Ravens for Blue. And San Fran. Right. Uh, spread Baltimore and San Fran. Wow. Okay, Blue, I got you. Let's go. Let's go. And you still got the over under, Blue. Take your time, though. Again, like I said, you guys don't have to pick now. It will be posted this evening. Or tomorrow in the Discord. And uh, for those that are interested in what's going on here, maybe you're new around here and you want to know more, or you want to see what the whole shindig's about, there are clickable panels in the About section of this channel. Just look below. You see, like, the little About thing. Click that shit. You'll see panels. And I'll have in the little word saying, Click! And you can join the Discord, Instagram, uh, Twitter, or X... The fuck it's called now, uh, <laughs> you know. There's uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of easy access in the about section. If uh, you want to follow me on any other social media, the about. Bobby K, Kansas City versus Baltimore. What are we thinking? I'm going Baltimore. All right, all right. Let me get that in there. I'm going Baltimore too. All right, how about Detroit and San Francisco? I'm going to go all out and go with Detroit. Because I don't think Debo's playing. Now, me and the other I got to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going with Blue on this. Frisco. Frisco! All right. I think McCaffrey is... Uh... Yeah, I know, but I, I'm watching these two guys on Detroit. They're very dangerous. Laporte. And uh, Jair, I think his name is Laporta. Laporta, yeah, yeah, guy's good. And I know like, that. The other guy, uh, who'd yeah. you say? Jair, I think the running back. Guys to look out for. All right. I want Detroit to win. My heart wants Detroit to win. You don't think they're going to? I don't think they're going to. I think again, you got to learn you, to be able to control McCaffrey has been such a difficult task for a lot of defenses. Yeah, uh, right. He is so versatile in so many ways, uh, not just running, but even receiving. So it's uh, it's, it's it's tough. And you got to control Kittle. And you got and Kittle. Yeah. Like, let's not forget about Kittle. Tight end for uh, San Fran. There's also my, another oh, dangerous weapon. This. I'm going. Hold on, hold on, pops. Okay, I apologize because I, I saw blue through his over and under. Yeah. He's going KC over. Yeah. And San Fran under. All right, got it. Pops, you were going over and under? I'm going uh, over on the KC game. And over on the Frisco game. All right, I'm going to go over on the KC game as well because I see these two teams really uh, throwing the points up. I think that, you know, the game's going to end. Uh, both teams are going to be 30-something points. Uh, San Fran game. I'm going under with blue on this. Okay. Uh, spread pops. What do we got for the spread? Uh, what is it? Three and a half Baltimore? Yeah. I say they win by seven. So you're going Baltimore? Yeah. And I'm definitely obviously going with Detroit since I think they're going to win the game. All right. I think, uh... Red wise, wow. That's a tough one, right? Yeah, I'm looking at this. Like, I'll take Detroit with the plus six and a half. Yeah. I still, I still think San Fran's gonna win, but I don't think they're gonna win by a touchdown. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna win. I think they're gonna lose by a field goal. This KC Baltimore spread is fucking me up right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, Vegas knows it's probably gonna be a three point game. Yeah, I'm gonna go KC on this with Ooh. the spread. I don't think, because, like, you know, seeing how hot Kansas City is right now. 
You know, despite the fact that they have zero class. Think about what uh, Baltimore did to Houston. Destroyed them. Yeah. They're the team that scored 48 points and couldn't score a touchdown on the offense. Don't worry. The board will come back out as picks are made in the chat. So don't worry. This ain't going nowhere. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I just... Uh, I think with that, like, you know... It's Baltimore's defense where they have a good defense. They do. Good special teams, too. But right now, you're starting to see, um, you know, Mahomes is starting to get into a groove. Yeah. With wide receivers. You don't hear Kadarius Tony anymore because, fuck, he ain't going to throw He's probably benched. Um, hurt, as he always is. And you don't know what the weather's going to be. But yet. Pachanko. Deadly runner. Is a deadly runner for Kansas City. Yeah. Every, every game, it's close to 100 yards. Or better. And with at least one or two touchdowns. And powerful? Yeah. That's why they question why did they give to Hilaire that ball instead of Pacheco? That would ice the game. Even though they won, that would have put them up by 11 points or 10 points at the time. Yo, we got Glove Clan raiding with a party and Thank you for the raid, Glove. Welcome on in, Raiders. Stay oh my go! How's it going? How's you doing tonight, Glove? How is everybody doing this evening? I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. And had a fantastic weekend. Well, thank you so much for the raid. Cheers! 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 You got popcorn on your shirt. Good. Shaving it for later? Yeah. yeah. It's alright. <laughs> How's it going, Club? Woo! We got Pops Playoff Picks Club. Would you like to see the board? Good, sir. Even if you don't, I'm going to show it to you anyways. <laughs> <laughs> now this week, ladies and gentlemen, again, just to cover it, in the middle we have who's going to win outright. Kansas City versus Baltimore. Detroit versus San Francisco. On the left side, we have the spread. Uh, Glove saying I'd love to see it. Yeah, brother. The spread over here. Baltimore's given three and a half points to Kansas City. And the spread for the Detroit-San Francisco game, 49ers are given Detroit six and a half points. The over-under for Kansas City versus Baltimore is 44 and a half. And the over-under for Detroit versus San Francisco is 50. That could have been 50 and a half, but I think you know, it started at 50 and a half. But I heard today it was 50. Yeah, well, we're going to go off of what I you heard at the time you heard it. They don't know about Debo. Yeah. He's a big uh, part of that, uh, you know, that game. And that's a very good point to bring up, Pops. One thing that we want to announce as well, when it comes to the spreads and the over-under, whether if it changes throughout the week, it doesn't matter to us. It's what we have today. Yeah. This is the information we're going with. This is what's locked on the board. These are the spreads and, and the over unders. It won't change much unless no. they find out about a major injury that we don't know about yet. But I doubt it. At best, it could change a half a point either way. But what we're saying is, what's on this board is not changing. No. So whatever you hear on the radio, whatever you see on the TV, what you see here on Twitch at the Pops and Wiz Sportscast. This is what we're going with. This is what we're sticking with. That's it's the, locked in. That's it's the, in ink. That's the official Vegas line as of tonight. And Las Vegas obviously controls all the gambling picks. Yeah. So this is this is this is what we're going with. And again, like I said, I will be posting this in the Discord as well for those that want to take a little bit more time. You'll have the rest of the week, including all of Saturday as well. You know what could change the out. Uh, you know, the difference in the spreads in the over and under, where the money goes. Mm -hmm. You know, if tons Good of point. people are betting Baltimore, you could see that spread going up to four or better. If you're going the other way, same thing. Same with Detroit and Frisco. You know, if Debo's not playing, that spread could go down to five and a half or five. Got Tug uh, Love saying, give me Baltimore. Apparently, the 10 year old. It's KC's quarterback. Glove, you, you, you feel the same way I feel, too. I'm not a Ravens guy, believe me. You know, 
But after the way fucking... I, I, they are. Just done with Remember the Remember I said in the mid-season when I picked Kansas City and Philly? Um, I'm going to be hopefully not right. Obviously with Philly gone, but Baltimore, I picked them to go. When I saw what they did, 10 in a row at the time. We got uh, well, and the only team way. I have left, uh, Detroit. Sorry, Bob. I'm just go, go, go. finished. Lions and Browns are once in the same division, so yeah. All right, so we, okay, so glove right now. You go with the outright games. Glove is going with Detroit. Oh wow, Ooh. nice. And Wiz, your dad was right. You went on a rant about alcohol for a while. Hey, listen. <laughs> we've talked about movies. We've talked about a whole bunch of things on this channel in the past. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I like to rant about certain things that I uh, I, I enjoy as well. Yeah. And I don't think there ain't nothing wrong with it. Not any booze. Particular booze. And I'm very excited. I mean, the, the, the gifts that I got this year uh, were, were really too, badass. Like it, yeah. And uh, I, I'm not even not even just excited to, uh, to to enjoy the cocktail, but also to make everybody one that wants exactly. to check it out. Share your wealth. Yeah. Or your joy, or your, you know, your gift. Same with me. If I get a, 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 a case of Miller Light for Christmas, I'm the happy kid. Club says you're not a wine snob, so you get a pass. <laughs> a wine snob. I do like. A dessert wine, though. Like, there are some dessert wines out there that are just fucking holy I can't shit. Drink wine. I can't even smell wine. Mm. And I'm very envious of wine drinkers because they make it look so good. But, like, I was telling you years ago, I got ripped when I was a teenager on wine and I'll never oh, drink it again. Change, change your whole. Never. A gin? I got a version. Tried it once. Never drink. I can't even smell gin. And I knew guys, especially guys that I worked in a dry cleaners. Oh, I can't drink. We had a lot of. Uh, Hispanic and uh, black uh, employees. God, they love gin. Oh, Danny Checkers, big gin. Yeah. And he got he actually one time we we're hanging out at the local bar. And I saw Checkers there, and he goes, "You gotta try this." I go, "Checkers, I know you're a big gin guy. Mm -hmm. I, I I can't drink it." He goes, "Try it." And I but, took a sip. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. And I go, "What gin?" I forgot what gin it was. I forgot what it was mixed with. Tangeray. I have no... Again, I don't remember. That became the better gin. In my day, it was beef eaters. But, like, he gave it, and I was like, that's actually really good. He goes, good, because I ordered you one. And I was like, you crazy, crazy son of a bitch. No, I can't. No, I tried it a couple of... You know, in my day, the only booze I really liked was a screwdriver. Vodka and orange juice. Yeah. I couldn't drink vodka straight. Ugh, horrible. But mixed? Delicious. But I, I don't do that anymore either, so... My days of uh, booze are long. Gone. It's been seven years now. So, no more for me. That was yeah. when I got married. Yeah, that's why. I'll never do it again. No? Huh? Ever. That was for me. Okay, Can't handle, fair enough. You get stupid enough on beer. <laughs> that's what I, I used to tell people. And, and you know, I calm myself down now when it comes to having beers, right? Oh, yeah, no. You I, I don't get where oh, I'm sloppy drunk or I can't stand. No, those days are long gone. Yeah. I have my uh, couple, and when I know it's time to stop, that's it. You drink responsibly. Exactly like the commercials say or the advertisements, you know. Because I've noticed there have been moments where I'm like, Pops, would you like a water? And you're like, I'll take one, please. Mm -hmm. or, or if you say you want another one, I say no. No. It's over. Uh, Passion says, I love my Bacardi and crack and rum is awesome. Crack and rum is really good. I think I tried rum one time. Bacardi's rum, rum and coke in like the mid 80s. I don't like Bacardi that much. No? Well, no. at that time it was number one. I like Kraken. The crack uh, is really good. Yep. And then uh, the other one is a uh, uh, little captain in you. Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. But they have, like, different versions of Captain Morgan now. But Picard's always been there, and it'll never die. I just, I can't, like... Made from... Certainly, like, uh, it's, yeah, it's some some of them are too sweet for me. Like, I and I, don't get me wrong, I, I do like a, like, you know, like a sweet whiskey or something like that. But, like, there's got to be a balance. And now I'm talking about booze again. Think Jesus. About, think about sugar. So what you guys are doing to me? Think about the sugar. Rum and Coca-Cola. Talking about sugar, pure sugar, pure sugar. 
If you're a diabetic, you're not drinking rum and cokes. <laughs> nah. I learned lots of alcohol brands from a video game franchise of all things, says Glove Clan. <laughs> is that a name, Glove Clan? Yeah, Glove Clan OG. Oh, okay. The original gangster. I don't even remember him as Glove. Well, because we short, like, I, I don't call yeah, Ash no, by his yeah, whole name. can't fit his name on the board. I don't say Mr. Blue Monkey all the time. Mr. Blue. Blue. Uh, uh, uh. People don't call me Mr. Whiskers all the time. Whiz. That's true. You're Pops. They don't call you Papa K. You got the shortest name out, out of all of us. Yeah. Papa K. Yeah, the oldest bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. We still got some more show to do. We are ready to keep going. Keep going. And uh, we have a trivia question for you guys. It's going to be a good one. Uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, or maybe you won't. I don't, I don't fucking know, actually. <laughs> They probably won't know it because it's always uh, New York related. Yeah, this one's a tough one. I can't remember. I think you'll get two of the three. Like I did. But. Like Pops did. But listen, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> yeah!
All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Bops and Wiz Sportscast. We're your hosts. My name's Mr. Whiskers, and to my right, the king of... The only king was Elvis. Take it easy. Oh, no, you're the king. <laughs> the king that's driving me crazy. I was king at work, remember? <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure you still are considered the king over there. What's his name? I always called me that. You got you were called the king, boss. I don't know about boss. boss. Oh, no, I heard it a few times. We got Papa K over here to my right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, the king's elves. What an exciting show this has been so far. And again, exciting playoffs right now. Oh my god, I can't believe it's almost over. Yeah, this is it's like you know we get the, the after this weekend and we gotta wait two weeks. Oh god, that that kills me. And that's where, yeah, it's like the build-up, the uh, excitement, the, oh, my, well, go! Talk about it, and then it's uh, basketball and hockey all-star games and pro foot, professional football all-star, which is a joke now, because they don't even dress up anymore. What? Yeah, they're just in shorts, which uh, I, said, uh, I don't care about any all-star game. Maybe baseball a little bit. Oh. They actually play the players that deserve to be there and play the legit game, not fake games. We got Wild Man in chat saying, well, I'm going to regret what I ate tonight. What do you eat? What did you eat, Wild Man? <laughs> why, why? Now, now, now I am questioning a lot of things right now. How, was it spicy? How about the meal I made over the weekend? Were you were you good with that? Oh my god! Okay, pops. Again, like there's something you do with your sauce that just changes the game. Like I ate I ate the rest of it today for lunch. Did you? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Um. I had a meatball sandwich. And like yo, know, sitting there and like people were talking to me, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. No, like, you gotta chew. I I just inhale. <laughs> I'm glad you like. No, I was saying no, again. Thank you very much. Did, no, no, every, everybody liked it, Dad. Yeah, I know everybody liked it. You know, you know. And again, you know what I did too. I took that leftover spaghetti, threw some olive oil in the pan, plopped that in, spread out a little salt, a little pepper, really? fried it up nice, put it in a bowl, spoonful of ricotta cheese in there. Yeah, just a, you don't like ricotta? No. You like lasagna? Yeah, but uh, you know. I don't taste it as much as I, you know, like, I, I see people eat the like, plain, like you guys do. Oh, man. This shit I, that reminds me of cottage cheese, which I can't eat. No, see, like, it, 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 it kind of like how I did it, it, it kind of had like a, almost like a baked ziti, only without the ziti, it was, mm. it was the spaghetti instead. Oh, man, it, it hit the spot, though. I was feeling Legio. pretty good last night. Nobody liked the sausages. I loved them. I ate, oh, my God, I enjoyed the hell out of them. They like butter to me. I ate, I, I ate five of them. <laughs> Homemade Thai coconut chicken on a street taco. Ooh, i never heard of that. That sounds amazing. Why did he regret it? I don't know. He said he regretted eating when he did. Well, thai, thai food can, 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 can mess with your insides a little bit. Thai is what? I think it's spicy, right? That's spicy. Thai is what? Uh, Chinese? No, no, wait, no. Like Hong Kong? I don't think so. No? Japanese? Tha like Thailand? Thailand, maybe, yeah. Well, it is. Oh, good. he was going to have acid reflux. Got to get that, uh, you know, get, get, oh, get. the heartburn thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to get the. Uh, Thumbs. Thumbs, yeah. Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, Pepto. Yeah, yeah, it's still around. Mm -hmm. I remember guys drinking that like it was right out of the bottle. <laughs> that had heartburn problems. That pink you. shit. Ugh. I had like you know. I had it. I I drank it. It works. Does Didn't the job. Like Didn't like it. Get it ready. Get it ready, wild man. But how you doing, brother? How's everything going? I know. So wild man, wild man. If I could, if I could uh, quickly bring this up. We have a gentleman's bet. Okay. Wild man is putting. On the line, uh, I'm listening. His last bottle of of apple barbecue sauce. Okay. 
which I am very much interested in winning. Okay. Now, Wild Man, the uh, the cool cat that he is, he doesn't want anything in return. But it's got to be when when you do a gentleman's bet, Wild Man. When we do a gentleman's bet, it's got to be. What's the bet? He said, "Oh, uh, he said Baltimore, right? Baltimore, San Francisco." He's saying it's gonna be Super Bowl. Ball. Okay. Can't argue there. Blue says Thailand there, Pops. Well, Thailand. Well, okay, okay. Well, obviously, it makes sense, Thai. So, you know what, though? Wild Man. It's very kind of you. And very, 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 very much, uh, you know, I, I don't even know how to put it into words. Respectful. But... You know, to put your last bottle. Not this will be his last bottle. Of apple, yeah, but it's the last one he's got. I don't know how rare this shit is. Okay. But I'm very intrigued. And again, this is this is a bottle of barbecue sauce that he uses. That you got it, some popcorn right there. Uh, that he uses to make the Papa K wrap. You know, th- this this bottle has some history. History. It's got some significance. It's got, uh, it, 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 you know, it's got some value okay. to it. So, wow, man, hold on a second. This is what I'm going to put on the line. If we're going, if you're saying it's going to be Baltimore, San Francisco, right? And let's say you're right. We're going to go further. If it's going to be Baltimore, San Francisco, this is what we're going to do. We're going to spice it up a little bit. If it's going to be Baltimore, San Francisco, who do you think is going to win? Regardless, here's what, you know what? Let's simplify this. Here's what it's going to be. How about this, Wild Man? The new gentleman's bet will be this. Whoever gets to the Super Bowl, you and I will pick a team. Pops loves that spot. Go ahead, save it for it's for later. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever ends up in the Super Bowl, since you initiated the gentleman's bet, you will pick which team you think will win the Super Bowl. Whoever ends up there. And I will pick the other team. I win. I got that bottle of apple barbecue sauce. If you win, let me show you what you're going to get. Ham sandwich. <laughs> Peanut butter <and> jelly. <laughs> oh, I think I know what he's bringing out. I don't know. This is something Wild Man and I had talked about. If you win, Wild Man, I will give you my Game Boy Color complete. With Pokemon Pinball. Ooh. That's a big bet. I want that barbecue sauce. Yeah, he probably wants that. <laughs> so that is what... Uh, how about that? Do you think that is fair, wild man? I don't even do this when I shave. I don't leave shaving cream on me. I always leave mm-hmm. food on my face. God, I never did that when I was younger. It's got to be an old man's stupid thing to do, right? <laughs> Really? I don't think it's that. I just think yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, like Here? in the heat of the moment, like especially like when you got something you want to say, you're George, like, oh, 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 oh. I think it's George Collin now. Here? 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 See, Wild Man says anything you want. Like I said, I, I'll take that barbecue sauce and we're putting the Game Boy pocket with Pokemon. It doesn't have the back. For the uh, battery, but it still works. You know what I was doing? The, uh, the Yummy in the tummy, says Chewy Girl. You're right. Yeah. I mean, uh, let, let me tell you so. When it comes to like popcorn, and you get the, you get good popcorn too. So like when it's theater popcorn or whatever this one is, yeah, yeah. you just you can't stop eating it. Oh, I like the extra butter. You know what I was thinking about when I was walking the dogs in the state? Louis Black. 
I could not complete a sentence. I would say, yeah, yeah, fuck, it's cold. <laughs> Six degrees, I'm walking the dogs, I can't feel my fingers. I actually wore my hat, the one you gave me, a middle light beanie thing. Because my head was freezing. God, it's so cold. Out it's cold. Unbelievable. Comes from Canada. <laughs> Isn't that what he said? Yeah. How is that? Is that uh, Lewis Black? Black on Broadway. Yeah. One of the best ones he ever did. Oh, by the way, did you see what I left you on your table? Yeah, I saw it, but not that one. No, that well, that those are the ones I had over here. No, I can't find that one. You think you have it here, but I can't find it. I don't have it here. I gave you all the stand-up comedy I have here. Then we lost it. Oh, I lost it. You know? I went through my videos. Unless I put it in a different sleeve. So it that could I, be that. I, I have to go to... I have over 200 DVDs. Since uh, Mike gave me all the rest of those. He gave me some very good ones, by the way. Actually, hold on a second. Now that I think about it, Wild Man, there is one thing... Uh-oh. ...that I want that you have. We're nagging. When we, when we, so Wild Man and I have talked about Pokemon, and we, when we talk about it quite often. Now, I will let you choose which one. Because either or, I do, I do, I do covet both of them. Okay. He has a Blastoise foil card and a Gengar foil card. Chinese. Yeah, no, that's foreign to like Speak uh, English. No, no, no. The Pokemon cards—they're—they're they're two of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Wins. I don't have them. You choose one that you're willing to part with. So that for this is that is that a, is that a is that a fair bet? Is that a fair gentleman's bet, wild man? I want that. I want those, those. Those are my two favorite Pokemon of all time. Wow, man says, of course. Speak English. Done. Well, this is this is. I know. We're I, we're nerding out right now, pops. I, all right. I, 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 Bloody Lee over here, redeeming. Again. Another. You can do it every twenty-five minutes. Thank God, this will be the last one because we're ending the show soon. <laughs> A whole new world. I'm glad to watch uh, the rest of this week now. Thank you, bloody. Reports on who's in, who's out. It's going to be very interesting. And the weather. Hey, Google. What's the weather going to be on Sunday in Baltimore? Sunday in Baltimore, it'll be rainy with a high of 49 and a low of 39. That's not bad. No. 49 is warm, rainy, man. Well, I can see. I, I'm still going to stick with the over. Still sticking with that. Yeah. And 40, we'll, 49 degrees compared to what it was last week? <laughs> That's a heat wave. Right? Baltimore's not far from us. And we're we're heading into the 50s this week. Starting tomorrow. Fifth, or Thursday. 50 or better. So all whatever snow we have left over, we'll be gone by the weekend. Okay. Until okay. the next storm. Well, let's see. Let's see. I'm excited right now with this bet with Wild Man. I mean, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do that. Whoever, whoever, uh, whoever goes to the Super Bowl, we'll let Wild Man choose the team yeah. he wants to go with first. I will obviously choose the opposite. Yeah, yeah, I get you. And uh, you know, and this is this is this is one of those things right here. Where, let me just. Uh, like I said, there's nothing to me. I don't even know what the hell it is. I, I was never into games like that, you know. I played sports outside. I watched movies inside. I'm a big movie fan from the 50s on. Even the 40s. Let's see if Blue knows this movie. I watched the original 1951 version of The Thing from Another World with Kenneth Toby. Do you guys remember that? Great Great horror film. James Arness was the thing. Would later become Matt Dillon. 
damn good movie. It scared the hell out of me when I was like eight years old. I could watch it forever, and I have it. Hold on. You hear that? It still works. Is that batteries? Uh, yeah, no. The um, the Rumble Pack for the game itself runs on a AAA, and the Game Boy Pocket runs on two AAAs. So three AAAs all in all. Those are the skinny ones. Yeah. But uh, that's something. I gave you a AAA if you need to recharge them. Mm-hmm. But Thank you. Yeah. Are you making all the double A's that? Just says he uses batteries like crazy. Go ahead. Wow, man. It says 49ers are going to be the underdogs of the Super Bowl, but it's going to be a close game. We still got to figure out who's going to be in the Super Bowl. I don't know if they're going to be the underdogs. Well, they're not even in the Super Bowl yet. I'm just saying, if they make it, if they beat the crap out of uh, Detroit and uh, KC and uh, Ravens have a close game, you know, I, I can see them, if anything, that would be less than a field goal game. Two and a half. At best, either way. Got passion. It says Casablanca is one of my favorite movies of all time. Humphrey Bogart. Yeah. Where did that come from, Bruce? Oh, I was talking about the thing. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Was I was bad. trying to get the thing. I, I was trying to get that thing to work. I, so I, was, I, I wasn't a big Humphrey Bogart fan. I know that was one of his classic movies, you know. But uh, the thing, which was a horror movie, at, oh, that was one of the best ever. In, uh, don't forget 1951 mm. yeah I mean they, you gotta remember all the horror movies there was Dracula Wolf Band Frankenstein from the 30s on and then they come up with this one Howard Hawks was the producer uh, I think but what a damn good movie and I don't know how they filmed that because it looked like they were in Alaska they claimed they filmed that in a studio I don't know how they did it huh <laughs> I Man, it's just crazy what they could do. Well, with even the, nowadays, what they yeah, could do with the snow blowing like it was, you know, how the hell did they make it look so cold? The massive fans, yeah, and right? When, when, just, when it's cold and snowing outside, outside, that's when I watch that movie. I feel like imagine actors nowadays wish they could go back to that time where it was like in a studio and not yeah, actually yeah. like on location. Yeah, yeah I guess you know t- times have changed. Times have changed. Now, some of the parts in that movie, not to prolong this. What movie was about? that, Pop, says Blue? The Thing from Another World. James Arness was The Thing. And uh, Kenneth Toby, I think was his name, was the prime star at the time. Who became a star later on. Horror movies, maybe he was a lawyer in uh, Perry Mason later on. You know, since we're on the topic of classics, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, I have purchased something recently. I was showing Papa K this earlier. Uh-huh. I won't give too much away because I don't. Uh, I you know I'm trying to build a little excitement. Well, let me just put it this way: I currently, in my possession, own a system that <laughs> that I can now stream particular games, and this one I have never played. And this was one that uh, my late father-in-law gave to me out of his collection. This Thursday, we will be doing a first playthrough. We're going to be going back in time. Dark Shadows? We're going to be going back Resident Evil Survivor. That's right, you guessed it. I bought a PlayStation 1. Remember these controllers? Absolutely. Oh, my darling. Take it easy. I hungered for your touch. I was on Chain Melody related to this. Yeah, thing. because this is such a classic system right here. Yeah. And you're singing Unchained Melody by Bobby Hatfield? <laughs> Come on, more with the Elvis version. How are you still mine? Yeah, but they did it first. Probably better. I need your love. Had, Bobby Hatfield had one hell of a voice. We got Judy Go says, I like The Wizard of Oz. Ooh, not a great movie. Oh my god. That was 1939. 
Uh, the original, I have seen that, and the other three remakes after that, says Blue. I still uh, like the Righteous Bl Brothers version. So do I. Well, we had to. I didn't know they uh, made three remakes. I know Kurt Russell did one, but I didn't know they made three. Wow. Well, like I said, my favorite. Kurt Russell, well, totally different story. And that was in 1981. It was like 30 years later. And I don't like it at all. You know, they changed everything. Oh no! I just I, I'm I'm gonna change it up right now, real quick. I just this uh, in, 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 you know intrusive thought popped into my head. And I thought about Elvis Presley just now, and I, I was doing Unchained Melody, right. and I was like, man, you know, I wish he would have covered one more song. Okay. Because I can only picture how amazing his voice would sound with this song. By the ice man. Oh, precious love. For your precious love. But again, everybody had their moments, you know, with this. It means song. more to me. But you saw how good he did that, especially oh, yeah. on the video that I have. The DVD. In, in love. I like it better when he did it live than when he recorded it. Same. Yeah, when he recorded. I it. love both versions, but the live version. But think of the songs that Elvis did that nobody else did. The Christmas songs. American Trilogy? American Trilogy, to me, was the greatest. I mean, a lot of people tried to sing that song, but nowhere near as great as he did it on that Aloha, you know, in Hawaii. And darling, I'm oh, so other? surprised. What's the other one that I love about him? Oh. In dreams. When I first. Memories in dreams. Kentucky rain. In the ghetto? In the ghetto, yeah, nobody ever did that song, as far as I know. You know, that was his last number one hit. But those songs that I just mentioned, my God. I always think of uh, Down the Road. Kentucky rain keeps pouring down. Slash, slash. Slash, slash. Yeah. Another town, another head. Great, great that song. I I'll think go that walking one. through. Rain in my shoes. Slash, slash, slash. <laughs> Searching for you. Searching for you. No, no, there were certain songs he did. Uh, the Christmas one. Why can't every day be like Christmas? I thought he did that the oh best my God. ever. Ever. You know? And I, I don't even remember anybody ever doing that song. I'm sure somebody did, but he did that the best. I always love that one. Um, uh, it was uh, shit. It's right there. Christmas? If I get oh, yeah. home on Christmas, Christmas yeah. Yeah. No, Day, yeah, he had a great. I have the whole. I don't need the whole soft words to say. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa, bring my baby back to me. Another great song. God Blue says Kentucky Rain, one of my most favorite. Great song. Oh, Blue, wait till you get over here. We'll have our own halftime show. Well, actually, no. Usher's doing a halftime show this year. Oh, yeah? And I know, Jay, you know, I, I, I'm very interested in, in, in seeing that. Maybe we could do a pre-Super Bowl show. They already said Reba McIntyre is going to do the first part before the game. Okay. And I forgot the young woman is going to do the national anthem. It's going to be three people doing before the game starts. It's going to be... Remember last year or the year before? I was in chills. When they did the national anthem, oh my god, I get I get like One teary eyed every guitar, time. I think. Yeah. Every time it and gets me. Voice. Every time. Oh my god, the voice was yeah. Same with me. I could uh, listen. To, uh, I go to a Ranger game or something like that. I listen to the national anthem and the Canadian national. Anthem, I get chills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially if somebody that's really got a voice to the head. Yeah, really phenomenal. You know that that. Like I said, that's part of this country. God bless America, national anthem. Oh my God, love it. Especially like I said, the new versions of the last few years of the Super Bowl. We were here together watching, and I forgot who sang it. Beautiful girl. Oh, what a voice! Now, I was almost crying. Oh yeah, I, I, that's I, me. I, I get fucking the hairs. I Everything stands up. Yeah, I really looks like I touched a socket. Just Jesus bah! Christ, yeah, that was so. Uh, All dramatic. the hairs standing. Yeah, fascinating. Well, 
Trivia. The trivia. Chat, you ready for trivia? Because we're closing in on the end of the show. How about a little trivia? Hey, baby. A lot of people are not going to notice because they're not Neo fans, but. They ain't asking much of you. No, 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 baby. <laughs> you got Elvis on your mind now. I got, I got the bug. Bigger, bigger, bigger. I got the bug. And it's a bigger, bigger, bigger. I'm going to look. You did a great old lower, too. Will you? That's right. I got a wishbone in my pocket. Rabbit's foot around, around, around my wrist. Right, my if I could have anything, a lucky charm would bring. Give me just one more little kiss. I don't know, no, 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 baby. baby. I ain't asking much of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the trivia question is as shown right here. Name the three New York Giant quarterbacks that made it into the Hall of Fame. Who's the last one? Well, tell me later. I can't tell you I now. Have, I actually got to get my phone. I have no idea. I took a screenshot. I got two out of three, but I couldn't get the third one because it was way before my time, according to Mr. Wiss. Don't be a stingy little mom. I'm just getting ahead of you. I ain't greedy, you, baby. Well, I want to know you again. <laughs> I got me singing it. Let's see, we got our uh, blues. Go, 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 pop, sing it. <laughs> hey, baby. Pops, I, I gotta say, chat, this man over here can do quite the Elvis impersonation. When you hear, when you hear him, especially if you give him the microphone, take it easy. Hey, baby. <laughs> Joe House Rock was another one he did. That. I don't think anybody else did that one. I always love that one. <laughs> What now, my love? Oh, yeah. Now that it's over. Now that it That was a good song. Who knows the whole one, the whole one, the whole one. Once I could live. <laughs> what are you bringing the phone for? Because I have the snapshot of all the quarterbacks. Oh. You I know? had to look this shit up. Do you know the last one? I have it. Oh, okay. Because I have no idea. Once I could ride. Oh, shit. <laughs> I actually learned how to play that, remember? That's right. Doom, doom, doom. Hey, Ely. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, that doom, doom, doom. The McCoys did it. The Elvis did it. You never know him. You can't mess up a good song. You can't mess up a good song. Never know how mother I care When you put your arms around me You're giving me fever When you kiss me Alright, come on Even when you hold me tight Anybody got any answers yet? No, Pops, I would be sitting there reading the chat Why are you singing Elvis? Because no one's answered the question yet why are you over here heckling me? I'm not gonna give you the answers. You keep talking to me in this tone of voice, there, Papa Gay. You give me fever. You got the last name? I have all of it. I got two out of three. You said right? Yes. And you said I don't like your altitude right now. You need to take it down a notch. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Altitude? I'm the guy that always says that. <coughs> I have him right here. BT. Hmm? No, it's BF. Oh. So you screwed it up. Yeah, I told you I couldn't look at my phone. I was driving. I had you on through the speakers of the car. Mm -hmm. I, Of course I screwed up. I even told you. I don't know if I got the right one. But you kept asking me, and I, I had to give you something. Okay. When you put your arms around me. Stop singing. No. His name. Who's bossing me around? Red four. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he played for the Giants. He wasn't even alive. Uh, Blue says, Kurt Warner is the only one I can possibly think of besides Eli, but I don't think... He's eligible for the Hall of Fame yet. This is true. 
We're going back. I will give the initials, ladies and gentlemen. There are three quarterbacks. The first set of initials are YT. The second set of initials are FT. And the last set of initials are BF. Hopefully, that helps. Cut one of his in the whole thing. That was a giant quarterback. He was a giant. No, but he wasn't. Not giant. as a giant quarterback. No. But he was you a... asked me to look up yeah, yeah. the New York Giants quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And I went with the New York Giants of up. all time, not who also played yeah. on the New York well, he Giants. He was the guy that played before Eli. But he I know. There long enough. He was his mentor. Yeah, he was a St. Louis Ram. Yeah. First. But I went with the question you asked me Uh, was start to finish New York Giants quarterbacks. And that is what I looked up. And I got the answers. And you got two of the three. Don't say them out loud yet. Just give uh, give Chad a second to... This this had to be one way back if I don't remember. Figure it out. Because I remember... You know, I I started watching the Giants in 61. I was 10. So this guy had to be way before me. Yeah, true. Because, like, Super Bowl, you saw every Super Bowl, but football foot, football, football, was going on before. Way before, yeah. Got, uh, you know, I'll give you a... Box, you want to throw? Uh, you want to throw your answers out there? I'll give you a couple of hints. The one you said, FT. Yes. Also played on Minnesota. Also played on Minnesota. Where's the, the Reaper? The YT. Also played on San Francisco. And the other one, I don't know. I don't have the answer to the third one. BF had mm-hmm. to be like I said way before my time. Oh yeah. And as a Giant fan, I should notice, because usually I hear, listen to all, you know, the Giant announcers mention guys like this. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. is like, I remember, like, so, our wonderful friends down the road, mm-hmm. remember they got you a DVD, right? The, the History of the Giants? Yeah. And I remember I watched that DVD as well, mm-hmm. and I don't recognize this name. No. So, like, I mean, we're going... And let's say said it, and it just didn't resonate. It didn't stick. It's got to be in fifties or forties, at least. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it's we're uh, going back. I, guess, I don't remember Charlie Connolly, Kyle wrote, and you said that wasn't the answer, obviously, because of the initials. All right. Well, how about this? Chat. Shall we start rattling them off? Papa Gay still doesn't know who the third one is. Do you surrender? The third one, can you tell me what era he played? No, no. not from what I have. Okay. Again, I had to I had to do this quickly. I got you. BF. Can you give me the first name? Okay, hold on. I can now, because Blue says, All right, Pops, you want to tell the chat who the first two are? Y.A. Tittle. Fran Talkerton. And I don't know the last one. It had to be before my time. I will give a first name. Benny. No idea. You want me to tell you? Yeah. Benny Friedman. Or Friedman. It's F R I E D M A N. Friedman. Yeah. Never heard. Never would have got it. Hey, he's like down here. He's he's down right here, like next to um, Harry Carsden, linebacker. Harry Carson. Bill Parcells. Yeah, they were A's. The only one I recognize is Michael Strahan, Y.A. Tittle, just because you've mentioned him so many times. Benny Fran Targeting. Benny Friedman. Didn't Lawrence play. Taylor. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about quarterbacks. I'm, I'm going down. Hall of Famous. Hall of Famous. Oh, I knew those. That whole giant. Like, yeah, yeah, we said quarterbacks. I knew Paul Sells. Yeah. I knew Carson's. I knew George Paul. Young, general manager New over York, here. Of the New York Giants, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we got Wellington Mara, co-owner, oh, administrator. Also, yeah, also the owner. Uh, Arnie Weinmeister, defensive tackle. Never heard of him. Sam Huff, linebacker. Oh, yeah, 60s. Red uh, Badgro, offensive, defensive end. Uh, Tuffy Lehmans, halfback, fullback. Never heard of him. Had to be way back. Frank Gifford. Oh, yeah. Halfback. Yeah, he was a whole fan. Flanker. Yeah. Wow. Roosevelt Brown, offensive tackle. Remember him well. Uh, Andy Robusta. Ro- Robustelli. Yeah, defensive end. Remember him? And so this was a screenshot I took. So, like, there there was a few more, but I knew you wanted the three quarterbacks. quarterbacks yeah, yeah. So I, I could have uh, named almost mo- most of them that you said. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't know Wellington Mara and George Young because they were the co owners. I didn't know that. But they, uh, they were with the Giants forever. I think, I think that's a big like part of it. And the five the Super Bowls, they won, uh, four Super Bowl four wins. Five, yeah, yeah. They lost, the only time they lost was to the Ravens. So. Wow. Which, yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, one of the things, yeah, LT, one of the things, Pops, uh, you know, which we talked about uh, yesterday when we were taking the goof for a walk. Mm-hmm. Is uh, one of the things we talked about. Uh, one thing, and uh, can I? I think I feel like I can say this. Is for the trivia questions. Um, when we do come up with them from here to the Super Bowl, you can expect Super Bowl like questions, right? Oh, is that fair doubt. to say? But I don't know. Yeah. So uh, anything that we can come can't up with. Can't say nothing about Detroit because they've never been there. If they make it, 49ers definitely, Kansas City definitely, obviously the Ravens definitely. Hmm. But, uh, but it doesn't even have to pertain to these teams. Okay. Again, there are 57 Super Bowls. Yeah. So, those are things that we can incorporate into it. Um, which, again, going into after this weekend, we're going to see mm-hmm. the two teams going to the Super Bowl. And we have two weeks yeah. before the Super Bowl. So, we have two weeks of trivia questions yeah. We can come up with some good Super Bowl ones. And, and which, um, which, th- that's which, what which people think were the best. Yeah, that they've seen. No, I've seen them all. But there are people that are, you know, like yourself. You well, know, it's like yeah, putting a poll out there, right? Yeah, yeah. Just see which ones do you think that you've seen are the greatest that you think. Well, that's something we could even do here on, in chat, and we could also do a poll over on Twitter slash X. Cool. So uh, that, those are things we can do, but as it regards to like trivia questions for uh, the two weeks uh, leading into the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. um, Papa K and I have kind of talked about some Super Bowl trivia questions, just to give you guys an idea of what to expect. If we can come up with some uh, really good ones, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, Papa K, is there anything else you want to add in tonight? Well, I'm done. I'm done. Toast. Toast! See you uh, To you, Papa K. Oh, shit. And we'll see who is going to go to the Super Bowl by the time we do our next show. That's right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Papa K. Papa K, I want to say really quick, um, a big cheers to you. Thank you so much for all the thought and everything that you put in to Pop's picks during the regular season. And now going forward with even Pop's playoff picks... Uh, you know, we'll see. It, it, you know, going through all the games during the regular season is no easy task to put the hardest ones on the board, and you have put together an incredible regular season for Pops Picks. This is the only team I don't think would be involved. <laughs> right, Detroit? Yeah. The but, other uh, three I could see. I was hoping Baltimore, I was hoping uh, Buffalo, but yeah. not to be. But I just want to say a quick cheers to you, Pops. Uh, you know, thank you for all the thought and effort and everything that you put into Pop's Picks. Uh, and again, thanks to everybody in chat. And a cheers to you guys as well for participating. Uh, we we do have the $100 gift card, which uh, Permadirt, I don't know if you're here, but we'll be, I'll be reaching out to you. Uh, I'm right. waiting on the mug, and then we have to get the, uh, the, the, the last one. Um, which actually, I know exactly how to go about that too. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, a big cheers to you again, Pops. Everybody that participated. Pops Picks. Cheers. Just one of my favorite times of the year. Yeah. 
And uh, Dad, you always make it difficult. You always make it fun. That's right. Can't make it easy. The NFL is not easy to begin with. You got to remember how hard it is to get here. And yeah. Only four teams are left out of fourteen that started. But one of the things I want to say before we even finish closing the show is one of the things that have made Pop Spicks I feel that so special this year is the combination of things that you've added to it. Uh, not just teams that like you know as, towards the end that needed the wins, yeah. but you've also put games on the board that. Um, you know, whether it was two teams that were both struggling, yeah. and that made it incredibly difficult to choose. Yeah. Uh, so, like, whether it's been teams that needed it, teams that were struggling, teams that face each other very well. Yeah. Like, you have made every every season you bring it, something new to the table when it comes to Pop's Picks, uh, and it's always a, an incredible challenge. I love rivalries, you know, when they're doing the season. So, I get excited every week. We're going to see. This is the one I didn't figure on. Baltimore? And Kansas City. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be Buffalo. But, KC, got to give them credit. Damn good team. Didn't That's like right. what they did at the end of the game. But, they still here. Again, yeah. six straight. And I'm going to show think, you that, too. Before I don't we. even think Brady did that. No. Brady, Brady, I remember Brady would just sit there, like, on his ass, on, on the yeah, grass. Go to six straight. AFC Championship. Oh, six, six, yeah. I don't know if he did. He might have. You know, he was there like every damn year, it seems like. But God Blue says, guys, have a great night. Great stream. As always, another week closer. To the Blue, Mismo, you guys have a fantastic evening. Wild Man, Passion, Chuny Girl, Luddy Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody hanging out today. Everybody watching. Anybody lurking. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Thanks so much for tuning in this evening. Um, we hope that you guys are just as excited for this as we are. And, uh, you know, I am. take care of yourselves. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, shit. And Luddy redeeming it one more time. <laughs> we'll end with a bam, Luddy. You night owl. That's right. Look at the time that is. It's probably 3 in the morning now. Cheers. Cheers, Luddy. Have a great, have a nice night, you two. Oh, Much yeah. love to you and the family. Take care, everybody. Ah! Three in the, three in the morning. Ah! No way. I love when I speak. It's close. 3.21 a.m., Luddy just said. It's 9.21 here. <coughs> hey, there you go. <coughs> that was a hot one. <laughs> that was a good you got him, Luddy. <coughs> <laughs> you beating that crap. Damn, that was that was worse than the other two. Thirty years from now, we you have ulcers. Gee, I wonder That's why. right, I'll have Pepto. Uh, yeah. And peppermint patties. <laughs> why don't you have one? You got one there. Yeah. Might need it before it goes stale. <laughs> it's the last Christmas one. Oh, my darling. Alright. Oh my god. What? Oh, no, the, a cold peppermint patty is a game changer. Yeah. Takes away the heat. No, you didn't coach the throat. Sure does. I love them. Oh my god. I get them all the time. Coria likes them too, Mr. Dan. Yeah, Blue says, yep. I've always said you just can't write this kind of stuff. Says Blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't make this shit up. <laughs> Bro, we can't wait to see you guys three weeks from now. That'll be great. Take care. We'll see you guys soon. We'll see. Uh, I'll be around Thursday for the gaming streams, and we'll be back next week, Tuesday, to go even further with this. Again, for those that haven't made their picks yet, if you're watching this now and you're still pondering, or if you watch this as a VOD later, here is the board one last time. I will be posting it in the Pops Pick section of the Discord. You have up until Sunday. Pops, what time does the first game start? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. So we, we would appreciate it if you could get your picks in before 3. Because yeah. once the game starts, the Over. shit is voided. This is just for shits and giggles now. There are no giveaways for the playoff picks. It's just for fun and just to keep the uh, good times rolling. And Pops just loves challenging us with these picks. Oh, it's not my picks. 
This is official. I didn't pick any of these teams. They picked themselves. That's true. That's true. You know, the playoffs is a different story than a regular season. That's true. Because they had the teams that were involved. Like I said, first week it was, uh, what, six games, 12 teams. Now it's down to four teams. Here Next go, week, baby. Down to two. Ladies and gentlemen, take it easy, man. We'll catch you next week. Box! Later! Oh! Ma! God! Getting ready for the Rangers tonight. Oh, what a night! Wow, you got a lot of picks already. <laughs> take it easy, everybody. We love you guys. Thank you again for all the love and support. We'll see you next, later next week. So many things. Oh, bye, bye, bye.